Not, my genetics were just <laughs> 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 Please make that our, our cold opening. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, dear friend. Welcome back. Our adventurers have just boarded Captain Valen Ahimoth's ship. They begin their quest to stop Sin Isolde and aid Valen in retrieving his brother from the rival Captain Silvertooth. Though not everyone is aboard the ship. Dera, our valiant cleric, has stayed behind to perform proper burial rites for the fallen tiefling Promise, the one who sacrificed himself to save Valen from being shot by Silvertooth. Little do the Rift Seekers know that this journey will lead them to knowledge thought to be lost to the void. Welcome back to Fragments of Lost Home, everyone. Session 39. So, uh, you guys are just about to board uh, Valen's ship. Uh, Dara, you were still at the inn. Um, the other ship with Captain Silvertooth has already left the port and is sailing away into the Sauna Ray Sea. Mm. Um, and Valen is quick to try to get after them and reach them. Um, so, Oh, for Macau, Ornan, uh, Ambrose, and Mirage, what oh, are you guys doing? Um, essentially, what you would be seeing, um, the ship is being prepared to leave. Uh, you would see two dwarves, a, a female and male, who are untying the ship from the dock. Um, you would see um, the... Very noble kobold that you saw before with his uh, mastiff on the ship, also going around um, like tying things down, no making sure way. everything's ready to go. Um, Hell yeah. Valen is at the helm of the ship, ready to go. Um, and then you guys would see the red haired halfling who is climbing up like the. Um, the side netting of the ship. I don't exactly know what you would call that, but climbing up there and kind of like looking out, tying things down uh, before she runs up like the um, mast and then onto like the crow's nest that they have up there. Um, you can hear all of them barking orders to each other, um, telling them like everything is secured, calling out to the captain. Um, so what are you guys doing during this time? Oh, no, Explosion. I, <laughs> I created a continuity error. And we'll get to that later. <laughs> huh? I created a continuity error. Okay. Well, we were in Anduin. We swam down to the fucking... The boat thing to try to get that stuff for the bingo thing. Yeah. My cat knows how to swim. <laughs> so he just relearned how he forgot. <laughs> <laughs> in the last session, he knows how to swim. We were all on a rope. We were going down you, you on a rope. You were kind of climbing. No, so. okay, 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 okay. It's like you know how to kick your feet. It's just that if yeah, that rope not... wasn't there, you probably wouldn't have made it down. Because we were climbing down. Yeah, the I rope. just went. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hold, on. Hold on. Brain blast. Um. So okay. you did in fact learn how to swim on your own. Very poorly. Yep. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, is there anything that we can do to, like, assist in getting us the fuck out of here as fast as possible? Like, is there any, like, supplies or shipment that's just, like, laying outside the ship that we can possibly, like, 
help carry on or no it seems like everything seems to be handled if you want to okay. uh lend a hand you're more than welcome to you can go ahead and roll i'd say like a survival check when it okay. comes to like tying things down or helping people out play uh, oh. oh okay uh, 15 okay 16 15 and a 16 um okay as you guys are like um getting onto the ship um you hear the two dwarves um like arguing with each other that the knot that one of them tied was wrong and so now it's stuck so um you guys are like walking over and they both like look up to you and goes hey your hands are smaller than ours come help us whose hands go for it tiny hands yeah, you're the skinny one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, fine. that's okay. No. No. It's understandable. Yeah. 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 Okay. You go over there and you're easily Just able to like untie it for them and help them out. And they go, oh, thank you. Big help. All right. Let's go. Let's go. And yeah, both of them are like hands. running and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hands, big help. Got it. Thank you. It's okay that you have tiny hands, it works! <laughs> okay, can we drop my please? Um... Fuck! <laughs> um, let's see, uh, Ornan, as you get on to the ship, um, you would see that the, the red-haired halfling has, like, a lifeline connected to them, um, that connects to, like, some part of the mass that is keeping them that if they fall, they won't like drop all the way down. Um, but you can see that it's like very loose on there. And so like, if she were to fall, that thing's not gonna hold and you spot that from like uh, on the ship. So if you want to, you can climb the mass and help her out with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and- okay, so don't need anyone getting injured. Very good. Um, Everyone's a vile part of this team. Safety first. Says the one who got dynamite strapped to his arm. <laughs> safety first! <Yeah. laughs> um, Mirage, as you um, climb aboard the ship, um, you would like look around and everyone's kind of like running around you, getting things ready to go. Uh, at first you're kind of unsure what to do uh, to help. Um, but then the uh, short haired lady with the like scars, um, she like runs past you and like bumps into you and like whips her head around, looks at you and oh. just goes, I could use your help, come with me. Yeah. yeah. And um, she like leads you uh, downstairs um, and you can see that there are uh, a couple cannons like below deck. Um, and you can see that they are just not properly like secured. And so she tries to like move one of the cannons by herself, but it's just like, she can't do it by herself. Can you help me just move this? We gotta secure it down before we leave. Yeah, I got you. Cool. So um, you guys would all successfully help them out, um, securing everything down. Um, and just as you secure like the last cannon, um, the ship begins to sail away and you can like look out from like one of the windows and see um, that you are like moving away from the port town and all you guys see that you are sailing out into the sea. we <laughs> mm -hmm. Because act like I'm the sea dead. It's like a wind breaker <laughs> when you leave Outset Island and you're like, come mm -hmm. back. <laughs> She's already dead. Yeah, She's like vomiting <laughs> off the <laughs> Smells like soup. Grandma! <laughs> so, as soup you guys funny. are on the ship and sailing away, um, you guys are like looking out towards the town uh, as the lights start to get dimmer as you are sailing farther and farther away. Um, during this time, there's almost like a brief moment of peace on this sh ship. Um, and during this time, uh, you guys would hear the 
uh, red haired halfling who starts like climbing down the mast and then like while still hanging on to like the ladder just like turns around and looks at the three of you or four because Ambrose is there um I don't remember um wanting these three f- four aboard the ship captain what are they doing here they're here to help us they know how to stop the uh what, what was the ugly one sin, sin. That one. Oh, ugly one. With like the weird hand. Just like they were all weird. Sure, right. Across the board. And um, what do we have the pleasure of calling you? Hmm? I know you all had, had, mm, we had a nice run in together, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Super nice, yeah. Yes. It's so good to see you again. It's very lovely to see you. And what was your names? Just so in case, you know, if I steal from you again, I know who I'm stealing from. <laughs> if. Um, Mikhail, or then, what are, I'm fucking please. <laughs> 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 Hello? Mikhail, Ornan. He's here! <laughs> <laughs> He's alive! <laughs> Mikhail! <laughs> Ornan! Mikhail! <laughs> Emerald! <laughs> We're also missing one of our buddies, but he'll show up eventually. And how do you propose he'll show up eventually? We have one of the fastest ships on the Sonoray Sea. He's very resourceful. Right. The, More I just love, the like, anything. the... Uh, I can only just see Macau eating rations and just mm. handling this entire very His <laughs> mouth kind of full. <laughs> so, just as organ. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I but forgot. we are the rib singers. I like, first of all, that the way that he came back to me was by being made fun of and then being a dick and being that. Nice. <laughs> that's really, that's really Macau. <laughs> the order of operations for Macau. Why I'm bread for me. Okay. Um, so, um, aboard this ship, not only would you see uh, Valen again, um, dark skin, kind of like um, blue, eye, bright blue eyes, um, kind of dreadlocks that are tied up in like a dreadlock ponytail, I guess. Um, he is still shirtless at this point in time, um, and you can clearly see the like lightning marks all over, like lightning scars, I guess, all over his Wait, body. Um, they're not glowing anymore, but you can clearly see they are like markings or scars. Um, <laughs> Also aboard this ship, uh, you would clearly see the short-haired lady that you guys saw, uh, the two dwarves, um, and then walking up from like the brig of the ship or um, underneath, um, you would see the dark steel knight with the red feather who walks up with his like broadsword. Um, you would have seen the the noble kobold like knight yeah. uh who is now riding atop his mastiff oh, um and it's then very slowly this is the last person that's walking up um on like the wooden stairs um you would see a very 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 wrinkly old long white haired beer um long white hair flowing down his back um in like blue robes it's just an old like wizard looking dude with like a pony hat <laughs> oh, and yeah. everything and he has like really long like white eyebrows too that are like drooping <laughs> down his face are they like um, braided into his beard no. no. Um, but like his eyes are sunken, he has like pale white skin, and he has this like old gnarled branch of a staff that he's like. Just very slowly. I turn to Watch the... all this racket up here. I turn I'm trying to, the to sleep. The nearest crew member. What the fuck is this old bag? <laughs> That's Unta. Unta? Yeah. Unta Wumpa. <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> That's Unta Hua to you. He like walks up like really close to you. How can you hear that? What? What is your name? Unta? Unta? Sorry, I'll give you a second. Unta? Unta 
Who are? Who are? Who are? Ah. <laughs> ah! I'm sorry. Who asked? <laughs> Shush. Ah. Ooh, ah. Okay, we're gonna put an apostrophe. Ah. <laughs> this is the peanut butter baby. Ah. Ah. Does that feel good? Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay. I thought we were staying in this down for a little longer, Valin. I wanted to pick up some prunes. Sorry, Untha, we had to leave. We found Silvertooth, so we're leaving now, all right? Huh? We go! <laughs> Can we? <laughs> Can we go? Can we go? <laughs> Can we go, please? Shit got bad, we go. We help. Who are you? <laughs> we? Fuck! The, we're missing a member, but we're the Red Seekers. My name is Macau. <laughs> ah, Rift Seekers, I see. Very nice. I am sensing something here. And he starts like waving his hand around before he like starts moving like, gonna, like like a fucking <laughs> like a, a sensing rod for like water dowsing rod. Oh yeah, dowsing rod. Yeah, yeah. And he yeah. Just, I'm just like, gonna stand like right next to Macau and like have my hand down And lower. he goes over <laughs> to Mirage who he just kind of like <laughs> places his like palm on your face. <laughs> um, like, like, excuse me? Hey. Excuse me, uh, Utha. Yes? Um, could you like ask? Care to explain next yourself time? before the uh. The. I don't. I didn't even take her to dinner. I'm, don't touch people without consent. There's a whole way out of her. Ah! Um. Can you ask before you touch the lady, there, please? Is there something, uh. something you're wanting to know? I could use words. <laughs> Speak common. <laughs> common. <laughs> it's a Don't speak common. <laughs> Contrary. I sense power in this one. <laughs> Thank you. I also sense something else deep within you. A seal has been placed upon you, hasn't it? You. Who the fuck is that? How do you. I don't believe that was a lucky guess. Well, I am a. No! Jesus oh, come on. Christ! Okay, can we like cut uh, the chit chat and actually get going? You see uh, the short haired lady with the scars uh, walk up and kind of like grab him. Uh, like gently by the arms and goes, all right, Untha, let's get you back downstairs, you old bag. <laughs> and like gently, she starts to like maneuver him down the stairs. Am I correct in assuming that guy's like crazy powerful? He's just a useless old man otherwise? Who are you talking to? Anybody that's nearby. <laughs> um, I just want the answers, I don't care from who. The... That's not an observation that could just be read on a person. Uh, he the did, like, the whole male thing. dwarf oh. was like he did the sea urchin. Um, <laughs> Face hugger. He yeah. is one of the last ones that's appeared on the ship. And when I say appeared, I actually mean he just appeared on the ship. Like huh? just kind of like a. a when I say appeared, I literally mean he just appeared. Ask the captain. Did he make like a little? And or was it like a? Or is it Neither. like, a, was there like a crashing? It was sound? more. Uh, <laughs> Did he like tumble? Who, like, I think it was. Was it Manon who saw him first? Yes, it was. Um, it was Manon. Uh, short head, just took it down. Um, Manon apparently was down below uh, working on stuff. 
And she turned around and Untha was just there. And he was just like walked from nothingness. What is his purpose on the ship if I might ask? Does he do, does he uh, do anything? No. Moral support. I'm sure. Right. He, okay. We think he's a bit senile. We don't really know where he came from. He claims to have walked through the stars and appeared here. He knows a little bit about his past, but he's kind of, you know, a little... He's losing his mind a little bit. Yeah. The, mm. the fog, like, as one would say, with old age. Sure. Like, like Going senile. Yeah. 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 Brain fog and all that jazz. But anytime <laughs> you ask him how or why he's here, he will just tell you he walked through the stars and he appeared here. Does he have a goal? I have no idea. Okay. We have all tried to talk to him, get some answers, and then he speaks in riddles and rhymes and oh, uh, cryptic hubble so jubble. Yeah, if there here, he'd be able to decide. It's yeah. the old man talk. Uh. <laughs> <Or> then... <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, this this Dara, I don't think we've had the pleasure of meeting. Your no. extra member? Yeah, he's great. Mm. Lovely guy. Big, big bear of a man. Lovely. Well, now that you're a part of our crew, at least for temporary, um, I am Amir. Amir! This is my sister, Brill. Um, and you met Untha Manon, uh, our great and valiant Captain Valen. Um, and then that little fellow over there and his dog, um, that would be Sir Demetrius Andromedus Borealius the 13th. I am not saying all that! Can I just call him 13? You can certainly try. Well, Will he respond good. to you? If, I if don't we, know. If we don't um, give him like the man. entire like entire well, like well. title, will he even respond to us? You can you, try to ask him. He's a brill? So I'm taking that as yes, a yes that name. we have to. And then who's What's his first name? The Cobalt, what's his first name? <laughs> um, at this point, the kobold would like the dog would no! walk up first before like like sniffing all around like your like feet and everything, oh. and it's like taking interest into your metal leg. It's just, <laughs> and then Hi, the kobold uh, would like like hop up on the dog and just like <laughs> and then like get like right in your face and like start like observing you. And go, mm -hmm. Hello, I'm the cow. What's your name? I am Sir Demetrius Andromedus Borealius the Thirteenth. I okay, am the loyal the fighter third. of the Storm Riders. So sorry, Demetrius Andromedus and Borealis the Thirteenth. You lost me after Andromedus. Borealis. Borealis. <laughs> Thank you. Or Borealis. <laughs> On the wind. <laughs> it's fucking away. Borealis. <laughs> Uh, uh, Borealis. <laughs> the 13th. Sir Demetrius and Ramadis Borealis the 13th. At your service, okay. Macau. Okay. <laughs> and this here is Gabriel, my noble steed. How noble. Mastiff. Now. I must ask you, you are an adventurer, yes? You travel the lands before? Uh, sorts, yeah, never been around here. But... Have you heard of his Majesty, Grand Master Filthus? Hmm? It doesn't sound familiar. What about you? Filthus? You look like more of a traveler. Okay. With your hides and oh. your 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 cape <laughs> and your boots. Everybody hates me today. What the fuck is going on? I'm going to be completely honest. I have no fucking clue what you're talking ah, about. That's okay. We'll be spending a lot of time together, and I can tell you all about my crusade <laughs> and the great word of Grandmaster Filthus. Grandmaster Filthus. Yes. Filthus. Okay. Where is this man? What is what is he all about? Are they still like prepping the ship around us? You guys are sailing. Oh, no. okay, cool. yeah, just, you've been sailing. Part. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You guys took off. Grandmaster Filthus? 
I, that is his name. Okay. And I am his holy knight. Though, as for the time being, I have pledged my services to Valen and the Stormriders. Okay. Where is this filters guy stationed at? Where, what's, what's his area of expertise and authority? Oh, it is on the western part of Nyarlafell. In the deep mountains, that's where he lies. And the rest of my clan, well, his clan. Um, but I was sent out from the clan to go on a holy crusade to spread the word of Grandmaster Filthus. Is it like a religious figure? Yes. What is his word exactly? I. Well, he's Grandmaster Vilfus. Yes. What's his word? What uh, message are you spreading about him? How will he change my life? Well, no, <laughs> you're not. Do the Well, um. He's, he's, he runs the clan. And mm. he's the grandmaster. Mm-hmm. Which clan? The Filthus clan. Oh, okay. Okay. I want so you clan to pay very close attention to uh-huh. this. Grandmaster Filthus. Yes. Leads the Filthus clan. So yes. He is in Nyarlathel, in the mountains of Nyarlathel. Yes. What is his message for me, personally, how will he change my perspective on the world that I live in? Well, I, I, I wasn't told so you a know. message. I was just told to spread the word of Grandmaster Filthus. What is the word? Uh, Grandmaster Filthus? What is the goal at the end of spreading the message? Let's shift per- let's shift topics for a second. Um, What's the goal? Start at point A, spreading the message. Point B, what is it? So that you know of Grand Master Filthus? Why? <laughs> because he's Grand master. You can just see him like <laughs> physically start to like shrink down. I'm having the time of my life. Woo! Ornum and I have water. Go ahead and roll an insight <laughs> check on him. We, we have just water to like the front of the ship. Doing Titanic shit. But yeah, we're doing like the Jack and Rose, like Titanic. Yeah. They were oh, like, oh, you the get the, the, the idea the that maybe this character was just sent away <laughs> <laughs> with the idea of spreading the word and being on a holy crusade. But obviously, there is no crusade. There is no word. Okay. He was just sent away. Okay. Then we're gonna have we're gonna have a little. Okay. And now oh. you can see he's like trying to rack his brain of what the fuck he's actually doing here. Okay, okay. Um, uh, sir, sir Demetrius, let me... Hold on. I think I've been asking the wrong questions and I may have confused you a little bit. And that's totally my fault. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at all this stuff. Normally when like missionaries come to my door, I shut it. So here's the thing. I don't know that word. That's okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> What the... So he sees over the, the clan. His, his clan in Yarrowville. Yes. Um, what, what, does he, what does he do there? Does he just man... Is he just kind of an authoritative figure? What does he... What's he all about? Oh! Well, he's bigger than us. He's smellier than us. Um, and he has a lot of gold. Is he a gobble? And trinkets. Huh? Is he a gobble? Yes. Up. I can smell something happening here. He looks like me, just okay. bigger. Okay. And he has wings. So that's okay. Huh? Are they like attached <coughs> to his arms or are they separate on his back? On his back. 
Oh, so that's. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, Dragon part three. If it, it it's it's said, and you, usually it's it's a it's a holy thing that if he breathes on you and you die, it's 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 holy. I just. That's it. Mm-hmm. What's really tickling me here is that this is such kobold bullshit, but it's so fancy. <laughs> and it's really tickling me. Okay. So, so we just stop what we're doing. We're like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just see Mirage and Ornan at the end of the ship just... <laughs> they okay. just cartoon slide into view. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> okay, so Dragon? Now, so then here, uh, uh, here's my question. Excuse me. Thank you. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> um... <laughs> I raise you one more. <laughs> I raise you. What um, what what is the the color of uh, Grandmaster Filthus's scales? Red, and his underbelly is light red. Very detailed, oriented. <laughs> well, amazing. Hold on, let me just make a very important note here. Okay. There is a fucking. Dragon in the mountains of Nerlotho. Cool. Okay. Um, where is that on the map? I'm just the north. Hold on, I'll find it. From where we are, kind of that way. Never eat east of you. <coughs> that way. If we're here, it's over there. Hmm. You're kind of center-ish, so you need to go that yeah, way. Yeah, it's east. That's what <laughs> so, I said. Yeah, I know, I was just, so <laughs> that way. Is it northeast or just east? It's almost directly east of you. Okay. So if you go straight east, you hit Nyarlathal. From where? Oh, I was getting uh, up. Oh, the, oh, that's the place with the fucking stuff in the holes and there's the guy in there. Okay. <laughs> It's like it's the That makes me think of the Shadow of the Colossus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that shot. That's way oh, that's so... way east Narlafell. He said it was western Narlafell. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Western. But yes. Cool. Okay. You are um, connecting dots. Well Oh um, um, yeah, so it's over in it how would be here. Mm, what does the Mikhail know about that fucker that, that flies around in Narlafell? Make a history check. Because I know that I know about that, but I don't know if that's knowledge that he has. This is where they are talking about. So I West don't think Yarlow. Well, okay. what is the role? No. Oh, okay. You would have heard maybe as a child the legend of the monster of Nyalafell. That's it. Uh, Sir Demetrius and Ramadas Borealis Pelicans. Um. Yes. Oh God. <laughs> of him. Okay. Oh, no. They've all died. Um, <laughs> how how big would you say uh, Grandmaster Filthus is? You don't... Okay. What? Imagine... That ima- big. Hey, 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 hey. Come here, come here. Imagine this is you sized, okay? So, imagine this is you sized. How big is he? Compare. Imagine this is you. You can use your arm. <laughs> okay. He's bigger than us. That's why he's the grandmaster. Right. Yes. And does, he smells. Does he speak to you? Yes. Does he talk? Okay. Cool. That's nifty. Um. Well, if we're ever. But he speaks like this, and then he starts speaking in draconian. Ah. That is one that I sadly do not know. Um. I do know it. Do I overhear this? <gasps> Make a perception check. You're the one who walked away, so. <laughs> yeah. Let's so find out. I was cocked. God damn it, that was a net. <laughs> Eight. No, I missed it. Uh, you hear uh, f- faintly draconic words, you just can't make out what it is exactly. Okay. Okay, right, well, um. Uh, yeah. Not important. If me and my buddies are ever in Nyalafell, we'll have to say hi. Yes! Yeah. You should tell him that Sir Demetrius Andromedus Borealis XIII have yes. sent you. Will do. And then you will have spreaded the word. Spreaded. Yes! Yep. 
And I will have done my family proud. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, Gabriel. <laughs> they start like walking off. I'm gonna walk over to a Mirage in Ornan. Okay. There's a fucking dragon in the mountains in Yarlifo. What? Oh. There's a dragon, he's red, and his name is Grandmaster Filfus. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I don't like the sound of it. Amazing. I don't gave... know if he gave himself that name or if the kobolds that he is the leader of gave him that name. But there's a fucking dragon in the mountains of Nyalva. So we stay far away. We stay, I hope so, but we need uh, Sir Demetrius and Romulus Borealis the 13th to think that we might go someday. Okay. Because that would, uh, I don't want to make him sad. He seems a little uh, evangelicalized by his own religion thing. I don't. Uh, uh, We're kind of out of our uh, our own realm of uh, expertise. Yeah, I don't know how all that works. Also, the dragon of religion. That's uh. There's one person I can think that would know dragon religion. That would be there, but that's a long shot. Mm. Yeah. When did I turn Scottish? <laughs> it it's happens. my fault! I'm sorry, I'm done it to you! Like a fucking it's all your fault! Scotland forever! The Scotland Yard! The Scotland Yard? What? <laughs> Don't worry. The police! They're coming! <laughs> what do we do now? Talk with some more of these interesting folks, yep. I guess we uh, win most of people, maybe. But, um,. I think that uh, Sir Demetrius has, uh, I think his dialogue has been exhausted. Yeah. So. <laughs> and, oh. He needs to drink up on some of these. You come back to him, he just starts repeating. Yeah, I'm like, ah, oh, oh. <laughs> Skip, 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 skip. Build <laughs> this! <laughs> does it look like we have enough time to squeeze in a rest or. It is nighttime. It is just past Ooh, sunset, so okay. you can resticles if you want to. Rest will be nice. I suppose maybe getting a bit of slumbering would probably be a good move, huh? Yeah. I'm not dealing yes. with sin <laughs> the way I am right now. <sighs> I need to I'm get my... Yeah. Uh... Okay. I'm not in a good state myself. <laughs> I need to rest. Oh, I'm talking about how I... I oh, I was talking about me, not me. Piss. Oh. Boy. Uh, okay, so uh, you guys just want to rest until morning then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very Sounds good. Like I'll probably hang out on the side of the ship and just like watch as we go for a little while. Be like, wow. And then eventually go to peace. Okay. Um, yeah, the lights of Fur Wyvern would be pretty far off in the distance now. Um, you hear the crashing of the waves on the side of the ship. It's very peaceful um there are um not that many clouds in the sky and as, as you look up it is just the dark sky is just lit up by the numerous amounts of stars are the like bonfire things that were on the beaches still lit at the moment mm -hmm. okay. you'd still be able to see those mm -hmm. cool but yeah um the silver tooth ship though um that valen is sailing towards is very hard to see that you can see like maybe a small like light blip in the distance mm -hmm. and that's what you're chasing after now you heard um the red-haired um halfling who um they would have introduced her as uh vicky um she said that you are on the fastest ship in the sauna ray sea yet silver tooth ship is now a tiny blip in the distance. Okay, damn, they passed. So, um, with that, you guys can rest on the ship. Where are you going to rest? Probably wherever they would let us go to rest. Okay. Um, they would set up, like, um, bunks for you 
um, down below, which would just be like a hammock of some sort, just some sort of like net that they would have that they would pin to the sides that you can sleep on. So that would be your resting quarters on the ship. Um, also, this ship is uh, the best. I'm not good at like sailing ships or anything like that. So think of like the brig from Sea of Thieves, if anything, okay. kind of what it would look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe not the brig, the bigger one, whatever that, the galleon. It's kind of uh, like that. Oh, that galleon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's it's essentially ship. a galleon. Um, big boy. Yeah, so. Relatively big boy. Anything else you three would want to do at night right now? Anyone else you want to talk to? Or are you just getting rests? I don't know. I don't think so. I would like Okay. Nothing comes to mind. Very good. All right. The three of you and Ambrose would rest. Okay. Are you going to go piss now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Take a pause. Take a pause. We return back to the inn where the tiefling promise lay in the hands of Dara. What are you doing? Uh, People are now starting to gather around. Um, You hear the innkeepers who like, one of them is crying while the other one's trying to console them. Um, And then you would start to hear the rushing of guards starting to enter as well. So what are you, what are you doing? Well, last thing I had been doing, I was trying to heal. Um, We had gotten the bullet out, right? Uh, I think so. I, I know say- we, had, we had gone to carve it out. Right. I think we succeeded and got it out, but we did not succeed in saving the person. At yes, all. you very did. You did get you did get the bullet out. Okay. I want to pocket the bullet for later. Okay. And then I want to pick up this person so that way. And then once the guards enter, I want to ask about graveyard or if there is a church okay so yeah um a few of the anamnesis conglomerate guards would like um rush over uh look around and then one of them would like spot you holding a dead body and like would approach you and ask you what happened here a lot happened very quickly i'm sorry but um I can give you a refresher. I have to get past the the (laughs) beach episode. The five minutes of beach episode that we had. Um, So (laughs) I was down at the beach. I heard an explosion up at the inn. I came running up to see what was happening. As I arrived, I didn't see anything immediately strange. There was some kind of explosion, as you can see. Nice. Nice. I do see. Crocodilian lizard folk came in, and then a, as well as a human with dark skin, dreadlocks, uh, and he has uh, lichting bird figures all over him. Does he look like this? And he pulls out his wanted poster, oh! um, and it says Valen Ahimoth, and it's a it's a picture of the guy you saw, five thousand GP, wanted dead or alive. That, that's the man. We almost had him. And the other one, did he look like this? And it's it's a picture of Captain Silvertooth. Same thing, wanted dead or alive, uh, 5,000. Yes, that's same people. (sighs) We had both of them here in Far Wyvern and we didn't get them. (sighs) That looks like um, Valen is after Silvertooth. Trying to kill each other. Interesting. Um, Valen is wanted for murder of a lot of anamnesis conglomerate guards. Captain oh. Silvertooth has been wanted for much longer, but um, has been elusive thus far. Has taken out many of the Navy ships that we have out there. Okay. Yeah, because then after they arrived, um, Silvertooth tries to shoot at Valen in the flip lock of some kind. Ah, uh, yes. And... A blue tiefling jumped in the way. And that's the one you have in your hands. Yes. 
I couldn't even... I'm a mage of sorts, cleric, and I couldn't even land it. I couldn't heal it. I see. Well, um, you can take the body to the temple if you'd like. Um, we'll try to clean up things here. Um, and your name? Dara. Dara. Very good. And he starts, like, writing down stuff as he starts walking back over to the, the scene of everything. Um, people are just, like, looking around in shock. The guards are trying to keep people away. Um, they're talking to the innkeepers and other, like, witnesses and everything like that. Oh, um, one other thing. There was a younger lad here, uh, Karos. Dark-skinned, shave head. When did... Vaguely uh, shaved head. Karos? Yeah, but all, it seems to be trying to protect Silvertooth. Yeah, we have nothing on this boy, but we will make note of it. Thank you, Dara. You're if you have anything else, any other information, you come find us, right? I think that's everything I've got, but yes. Very good. Did you know or happen to see where either of them went? Silvertooth. Hold on. Which one did I see? You would have seen Silvertooth just kind of poof, out of existence with Karos, and then That's Valen right. would have ran off with your party. That's right. Silvertooth and Karos kind of just vanished. Ugh, damn magic. And Valen took off heading towards the docks. The ships. And they have the fastest ship in the Sonoray Sea. I don't know if we can catch them, but we can try. Load up a ship. We'll be prepared to leave in the morning. This is so Anyway, I'm going to go take this to the temple. Where is it? As in, I'm not local. Um, he would point you in, like, northeastern direction. Uh, he tells you, like, um, the road to get there, essentially, or the path to take. Um, and the barracks are right by the temple. Um, but he tells you to look for the Temple of Marinus, and you'll see it by the Statue of Marinus. Mm. Our temple. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I will start heading towards the Temple of Marinus. Okay. Um... You approach the Temple of Marinus, which is this large um, temple building uh, with, like, this blue roof. Um, it just has a lot of, like, blue shading, blue colors around it. Um, the statue of Marinus is there. Uh, you can see what appears to be kind of like a humanoid figure um, with no, like, facial features. Um, he is holding, like, this orb in one hand and a hook in another and then um there are four octopus tentacles that are like coming out of his back interesting and he just appears to be in like this godly pose of the statue um so um Entering into the temple, holding Promise's body, uh, it's a bit darker in here. There are, like, blue torches everywhere. Um, uh, there would be, like, a, a priest of Marinus who would, like, walk up to you. Uh, you would see that this is a water genasi uh, with, like, rippling blue skin, wavy, like, light blue hair. Um, he appears to just be wearing just, like, a simple... Um, like priest robes and almost like a kind of like light green color um, and would walk up to you gently um, no it's not who you think it is <laughs> no I know <laughs> <laughs> he's in their mind like it's no, there's no way <laughs> it's too early he's not that nice <laughs> my pokey um he walks up to you, his eyes kind of go wide as he sees the body and then looks up to you and just goes, Dear brother, what has happened here? A wanted man, Captain Silvertooth, shot this tiefling. I did everything I could to save her and I could not. I see. Well, we can take the body off your hands and give him a proper burial if you'd like. Okay, thank you. Uh, two other priests would walk up, um, take the body away from you. Okay. And just kind of like depart. Uh, the water genasi just kind of like oversees everything before like looking back to you. Is there anything else, th anything else you would need, dear brother? I plan to place a prayer to Marinus and I have another possible lead, but 
No, I just have to catch up with some people. I see. Well, if you are traveling out to the Xi, it best be to pray to Marinus before you head out. That's my goal. Very good. Um, if you would like to, um, he like gestures <coughs> over to this shallow pool of water in like uh, surrounding it is like this like marble stone. Um, and then at the end of this like pool, there is an altar, which appears to be like this large like conch shell. Um, and there are like offerings around it, anywhere from like seashells to flowers to um, any sort of like boating equipment around there. But if you would like to, this would be the place to offer worship to Marinus. Thank you. Of course. To start, mm -hmm. is there like pews and such like on the regular church or no? No, not in here. Okay. Is there any place to sit? Uh, there would be, yeah. It's... It's a larger, like, open kind of church, That's but fine. there's not a lot of, like, seating. There would be, like, some, but there's not, like, organized pews. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to take a look at the yeah, bullet, so I just figured I'd go sit down for that. Yeah, um, you can sit down by, like, the pool of water. Okay. Um, there is kind of, like, it's, like... There's a pool of water, the marble stone around it, almost like the outside of like a fountain kind of. Um, and there's like small steps that lead into the pool. Yeah. So you can sit down like on the steps. Cool. And then yeah, I'll do it like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what are you trying to do with this bullet? I just want to see if there's anything weird about it because it stopped me from being able to heal. Okay. Um, Based off of what I could ascertain. Sure. You can roll... I mean, okay, just by looking at this bullet, it is just a simple, like, flintlock bullet. It's just this round, um, like, dark metal bullet. Um, by holding it, though, um, you do feel something strange about it. There is almost like this negative aura around it, I guess you could say. And by holding it in your hands, you feel like a sense of evil. Um, if you want to, you can roll an Arcana check to kind of ascertain yes. more about it. That's fair. Nice. Straight to the glass. Uh, nope, that's a seven. Seven. You try to, with all of your knowledge in magic and all your time spent, um, like in the mist woods. You don't really know what kind of magic surrounds this bullet, but while holding it though, it's in a way it feels like it's starting to slowly sap like your own energy. And you start to think that maybe this bullet is the reason why you weren't able to heal that tiefling. Something about this bullet is stopping the flow of magic. Okay. Then I will come back to that. Because mm -hmm. I have an idea, and it's disrespectful to Marinus. Okay. I will uh, wade down into the pool. Mm -hmm. And taking a look at the offerings, what's normally there? You said shells, flowers... Shells, flowers, there are small trinkets that you would assume people would have had like on boats. Uh, there are pearls, um, just any sort of like little things you'd find on the seaside or on a boat. Just small little offerings that people would have given to Marinus. Um, yeah, that's about it. Great. I'm certain I have so many ocean things in my inventory. <laughs> Pulls up inventory. This guy loves the ocean. Yeah. Oh, I, I love the ocean. I am ocean. All about it. Who are the ocean. I have nothing. I could... 
who's there. I can try. It's silly, but you know what? It never hurts to try. I will instead place an offering of gold. Okay, sure. I'll, I'll place a platinum coin. Okay, yeah. It's like buried treasure. You it place works. a platinum coin upon the altar. Um, there would be other sorts of like small treasures there. And like I said, there are trinkets, some other like yeah. medallions or amulets that people would have put there. So it does it does fit in. Yeah, I don't have anything that I'm able to give up. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's fine. Besides a really awesome magic item and <laughs> something else. <laughs> I don't want to get strangled by my life from by my wife from the afterlife. That's fair. Not a good time. Okay, so then yeah, I will go ahead and place down the platinum coin as an offering. And then I will try and make a prayer to Marinus. Okay. Um Wading into this like shallow pool and then placing your offering on there, um, how would you pray to Marinus or would you ask for help from one of the priests? I would try to do it myself. How big is this pool? It's it's a decent sized pool. It is circular in shape, um, though the water would only go to like maybe just like to your calves. Maybe. Oh, okay. It's it's shallow. Very shallow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I will not go with final one. I don't know Mar Marinus very well at all, so I think the best only idea, idea I've got is I will scoop up some of the water into my hands that way it's dripping through mm -hmm. and then just try to reach out. Okay. With the offering and you being in the temple of Marinus, you, um, with water in your hands, it starts to drip down and you look into the water. Yep. You feel as if this water around you is pure and then as you start to um, like meditate or focus more, you almost feel as if this water around you is alive. And as you like look into the water, you kind of lose yourself and almost become entranced by this water until all of a sudden the area around you becomes dark and you find yourself um waiting like calf deep in water and there's like this force around you like almost this air pocket but as you like begin to look around you find yourself like deep underwater there are all manners of sea life that begins to swim around you and as you're like looking around looking at everything at some point you would turn and you would feel a very large presence. And out from like the darkness of the sea, you would see two pure blue like eyeballs. Um, and then the um, featureless face apart from the eyeballs of Marinus who just kind of appears. The four tentacles massive in size that kind of like wade out around you and disappear into the darkness and like come into view every once in a while um he appears you can see only like a part of his chest um he wears like this dark helmet with two horns that branch out um and he looks to you you feel this godly powerful presence um, and you feel almost as if this is kind of like the same thing um, with the spirit of the forest, where this is Marinus's domain, and he has nabbed you. Yeah. So while you are in this domain looking upon him, he looks to you. Dara. One who worships, worships the Lord of Gods and now presents himself to the sea 
to what do I owe the pleasure? The pleasure is all mine, my liege. I'm here to ask for a favor or a boon. I need to cross the sea to catch up with my allies so I can... We can work against someone named Sin. She has wronged us, and she... The people with her have wronged many more. I know of who you speak of. Dara, I shall grant you this boon that you seek. But first, you must aid me. Okay. You have done much for the land, I know this. And now I ask you to do for the sea as you have done the land. The Sonoray Sea is plagued. A titan of old. Its corpse rests at the center of the sea. This titan comes not from this biosphere. You must find a way to rid of this corpse. And I shall tell you this. It begins to like move around this um, pocket of air. The ship you seek with this sin aboard is traveling to this corpse. For what reason, I do not know. But there is some ancient power lurking there. Your allies are chasing them. At sunrise, march to the beaches of Furwyven. Look out to the sea. And as the sun rises, there will be a green flash. And then I will grant you the boon. Do you have any further information regarding this Titan? Make a persuasion check. Fifteen. People of the Sonoray Sea, call it by a name. To which I am looking in my notes because it's been <laughs> it's been a while what since. What did they call it? <laughs> by a name, <laughs> and its name is and Tim. It's Tim the Titan. Tim the Titan. Tim the Titan. Listen, it's Marinus. Marinus is happening. Marinus is loading. Hold on. Ah, there it is. It's on the map. What's loading? <laughs> the people of the Sonoray Sea call it Esgosi. The corpse of this titan has made it an island of some sort. There are creatures that live on this island. Be careful sailing into it. Is it just rocky outcomes or something more malevolent? Repeat that. What did you say? Is it just rocky outcroppings or something more malevolent? The island itself? Is that what you're asking? Well, he said that to be careful sailing into it. Oh. Um. He would answer both. When you 
say this thing's not from this biosphere, is it just from one of the others? No. Delightful. How long has it been here? As far as I can remember. And I am an old being. So maybe the blooming gods would know, or maybe to God. The blooming gods. They might have the knowledge you seek. Though I, a god amongst this biosphere, I have not spoken to them. Neither have I. But it seems you have someone with you who has. Who has. this information and see what she can find. A smart move. Is there anything else you wish to know while you are here? Are my friends catching up to the others? Uh, the guards mentioned they were on the fastest ship in the sea. They do have the fastest ship on the sea. Though it seems the ship that Sin is on is magically faster. Any idea what it could be propelling it? Someone aboard that ship has made it faster by some sort of arcane and mechanical means. I believe my sister of old would have known. I must be trying to get a hold of her later. Foolhardy, but you never know. Miracles do happen. I'm curious about a bullet. Hmm. Perhaps she will grant you the knowledge. I can hope. If not, I know someone who's got a greater connection to her than I do. <laughs> Your connection to us gods is astounding. That Dara. baffles me. You are a rare specimen on this biosphere. We are thankful to have someone like you. Without the aid of all of you, we would not still be standing, so the thanks is returned. The mortals are precious to us, but it is ones like you who we keep a watchful eye on. Might I inquire as to why? You have spoken to many of us already in such a short amount of time. Some never speak to us. Others refuse. Some try and fail. But you have a greater connection. Not just to us. And you um, see him like disappear for a second before um, like appearing in this pocket of air like from water he is morphed into this um, being that is now uh, similar in size as you he begins to walk towards you um, and places a hand over your heart you also have a greater connection to the biosphere itself Interesting. is it Yes, I don't. Can't say it per se. Can't per se. No, say I know why. 
Wow. Struggled with that one. If you truly do not know why, perhaps you should look closer I mean, I to the one thing you have. That tracks with what I figured you were going to say. <laughs> you have special connections to those around you. And that is what I will part with. Thank you, Marinus. We will meet again, Dara. I look forward to it. At sunrise, I will grant you your boon. I await it. Very well. Farewell, Terra. And good worries. luck. Thank you. And with that, he disappears. And with one last thing, you see um, a massive, like, kraken like squid just kind of like <laughs> overhead before you. <laughs> I'm scared of the ocean! <laughs> um. You kind of like throw your head back up and you see the water has all but drained from your hands now. And you are now back in the temple of Marinus. Is there any questions? Now I'm going to go try to speak to a shattered god. Mm. All right. So I will head out of the house of Marinus. Very good. Um, I really don't know where to go for this one because it's kind of a weird yawn. Incredibly dead. <laughs> Very dead. Super. <laughs> Is there any anything that looks even vaguely industrial? Is the ocean, so I kind of doubt it, but who knows? In Furwyven, there would be uh, there would be an investigation check. All right, seems seems <laughs> that ain't it. Oh no, that's a total. Oh, there was no modifier there. Three. <laughs> you keep giving me invest- intelligence checks. Nothing industrial. Not here in Furwive. And as you are like looking around, kind of s- s- scrounging for any sort of uh, info on any industrial like buildings or anything that looks just a bit more advanced than what you have before you in this town, um, you're not coming up with anything. Your idea of what might be advanced is a little blurred. True. Is there any generalized temples for just regular prayer? No. Thank you. Because I'm not going to pray to the wrong god in the house of wrong. The house of wrong. <laughs> so I will go find... I was going to fuck up. Where's the cemetery? Um, there would be a cemetery by the temple. There's kind of like a, a fenced off area where there are like gravestones. Um, you would see the priest uh, actually performing a simple burial ritual for uh, the tiefling. Is it, I know a lot of graveyards and cemeteries have like a bench. Is there somewhere like that I can sit? Yes. There's like a, a simple stone bench. Um, off to the side of like the graveyard. Okay, then I want to go just sit on said bench. Okay. And I will take the bullet in hand, try to recall any information I have, any information I have regarding the shards of Syphix. Okay. And try and make a prayer. As this is the closest thing I can think of Syphix considering her state. Sure. Make make a religion check. Which I believe is also intelligence because this game hates. <laughs> no. That's just not a dork 
asshole. <laughs> We're in the perfect place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've gotten Wish one, Brandon. I've gotten one good roll. That is in total a six. While you are in the cemetery and you try to focus on this bullet, try to f- focus on worship, offering worship to Syphix, um, you're just not too sure how you would do so. With all the other gods, you've been able to make some sort of connection with your worship to Tagalm, with your connections to the biosphere, it's been easy to connect to not only Tagalm, but Fane and Asunta as well. And then by being a cleric and performing your burial rituals, Kaiser. But with Syphix, you know that not only is she a broken god, so whatever presence she might have or influence on this biosphere, it's very scattered. Her whole being is just it doesn't exist every other god you've connected to has been a a whole being so you're not too sure how worship would work how connecting to a scattered and broken god would work so trying to focus on this bullet trying to contact or commune with this goddess of invention it's not working like you would normally commune with a god. So your normal ways of communing with a god do not work. Makes sense. And yeah, I will call it there. Okay. I'm going to head over to where the priest is burying the tiefling. Mm-hmm. Give a very brief prayer myself. Okay. And then I will... <sighs> Honestly, probably not stay in town. I will stay somewhere foresty off the coast. That's doable. Um, The priests would thank you um, for your prayer. Um, They would say kind of like just a few um, basic prayers, um, asking Kaiser to guide this poor soul uh, to the Tectheum so that Kathek may judge them. Um, but then after that, um, you wander away. Um, it's easy to get out of Fur Wyvern. The gates are open. There are the night guards who are there um, with torches who kind of just watch you as you leave. Um, don't make any sort of gestures or anything. They just kind of watch you. Um, as you exit Fur Wyvern, though, off in the near distance, there is um, like a foresty area that you could walk to. Then yeah, I will head over to the forest. Mm-hmm. What time of day is it? It's night. Okay. Estimating here, will I get a full long rest of hour to sleep before sunrise? Yeah, if you slept now, you get full oh, rest. Just want to that's what you mean. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's early night. Okay. It was just past sunset when the event happened. Understood. Then I will head a little ways into the forest, just that way I'm away from this majority of people. Mm -hmm. I will spend a little bit of time playing with Gawain. Okay, very good. It's been a while. Yeah. And then I will use the rune for the tiny hut. Okay, easily enough. (sighs) Use the rune. Lehman's tiny hut kind of appears over you. And you are able to get a long rest if you so choose? Yes. Cool. Okay. So, all of you would get a long rest. Uh, Mirage, go ahead and make a wisdom save though for me. Okay. Oh! Mm. How am I starting the day? Uh, That's not great. Five. The side of the table, not rolling great. Not feeling wise, pal. So, Mirage, you would awake on the ship, and you know you're not moving. And two, you don't feel the water anymore. It's dark still. 
and you hear the rumbling of like thunder and just like off in the distance. You're still in the ship though. And as you look around, no one is there with you. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm looking out the window. You look out the window in a very similar fashion to a place you were just at. It is pitch black. The only light illuminated from the lightning above in this eternal storm that rages above you. Lightning flashes and off in the distance you can once again see some massive corpse leaning up against a mountainside. Skull, skeletal being, it just rests on a mountainside. And then you begin to hear the demonic noises of those creatures that you saw before too. And as you like look down, you can see them clawing up the side of the ship. You can hear them on top, walking across the planks. I'm gonna leave my room, run out to the open. Okay, yeah. Yeah. You um, run up to the very top of the ship and you can see all these like creatures that are now like surrounding you and they just are standing there looking at you just staring but they're not moving you can hear like the chittering of like their teeth um those noises that they're making and then you hear and feel the ground begin to like shake and rumble like there are tremors and bursting up from the ground is this massive titan of a creature that almost resembles kind of like a um, centipede or millipede but it doesn't have an insect-like face as it kind of like bursts up from the ground you're able to see it for a split second before it begins to turn its head um, shrouded in this like darkness and just as it turns its head towards you you wake up and you're back in the ship oh and you are sailing, and it is light. I guess I'm just swaying back and forth because ocean water. And you're on a hammock, so yeah. Yeah. That would make sense. <sighs> Good morning, pineapple. Look at it, go Good morning, neighbor. <laughs> No! No! That cannon! That cannon! That's on the wind. Oh. (laughs) Okay, so, um, Ornan, Mirage, Macau, you would all awake on the sh- uh, like, inside the ship, like in the brig, um, swaying on the hammocks, um, There would be a few people who are still down here sleeping. Um, this is not the music I want. I was like, I don't like how intense this music is. I'm right here. Now. Something's happening. Breakfast. 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 <laughs> What's going on in Shibuya? <sighs> All right. So. Um. Okay. So. Um. The male dwarf would still be sleeping down here. Uh, so would the old man, Unta. Uh, and Vicky would still be down here. The rest of the beds are empty. So, what would you guys like to do? Good morning. Good morning. How'd you guys sleep? Oh, I slept fine, honestly. I don't like waking up moving. <laughs> Got to get your sea legs somehow. Yeah. Don't tell me you're going to need help getting out of bed. No, I'm fine. Are you sure? I'm fine. Here, take my hand. No, I'm okay. Come I can on. get. No, I'm literally fine. I don't care. I, don't care. If I, I just feel. No, you. <laughs> 
you just get out of bed and you're like, mm-hmm. oh. sit up. <laughs> As you guys are like slowly getting up, um, you hear someone walk down the steps and you would be able to see Manon, uh, the short haired lady um, who walks down. She has like an apron tied around her and she just kind of like uh, holds like the top part of like the, the wooden like raft or little rafters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then she just kind of like leans and she has this kind of like angry look about her almost like resting bitch face um yeah just permanently and she just kind of like looks the three of you and then keeps walking into the room before she tips over uh vicky and the male dwarves hammocks just both of them fall to the ground um and you you hear her like in sort of like a motherly voice like yelling at them telling them to get up and start doing their chores and everything like that making sure that they're doing their jobs and she's like actively like kicking them out um, trying to get well, that's them up. That's a hell of a wake up call. Um, and then as she like ushers them up the stairs, she whips her head around and looks back at you three. Good morning. Good morning. morning. This is not a free ride. Get up. Work it. I was just about Work to ask night. if there was anything I could do for you. Work it seems you're just getting awake. So come on, let's move. Oh, 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 come on, Mikael. Let's go to it. Come on, baby. Yeah. Come on. 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 Come Okay. You'll be okay. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> She's only gonna do it. You're an adult, Lauren. Are you? S- you're a yeah, fully grown. You're just gonna listen to any pretty lady that tells you what to do? Yeah. You yeah. Sh- think I'm pretty. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I did, in fact, no. ask for her opinion, and she did say yes. If she would have said no, I wouldn't have done it, but she did, in fact, say yes. Oh, oh meet you boys up there. Oh I d- okay. Miss Dara. <laughs> Ambrose, you doing all right? He would yell at you. How you doing on this? Sh- oh. oh uh, hey. Let's get you up. What are the same? I, I don't want to be in a corset anymore. You don't. <laughs> oh no! Do you, you need? Do you need help? Uh, okay, okay. I'm gonna help them. Very carefully. Uh, uh, at the very least, like I'll loosen it up mm-hmm. so that he can take it off himself. <sighs> Did you fucking sleep in that? Mm. Ambrose, why would you do that? I didn't know what we were gonna do. You could- we got, I don't know what was gonna happen. I was Sweet. being prepared. I'm sorry, my clothing actually has equipment in it and is useful, unlike yours, which is just cloth in the wind. Okay. And as you're as you're like I'm loosening sorry. the the corset, you would be able to see like a glints oh, yeah. of like silver oh, yeah, from like shit, man. yeah. Okay, I'm so sorry. Would you prefer that I, if my clothing is of no use to me, I just exist on our little escapades naked? Is that what you want? You want me just he like eyes you up. He like eyes you up and down. He goes, no. Don't lie to me. Good morning. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> up and now, then let's I'm go. I am up. I'm standing. Um, Are you really now? Yeah. So you three would walk upstairs. Um, Ambrose kind of like stays behind for a bit and you see him like um, starting to change his clothing. Um, so uh, as you walk upstairs, you see everyone going about their chores. Um, Vicky and the, or and Amir uh, kind of lazily going about their duties. Um, you see Valen uh, who is still at the helm of the ship. Um, so, uh, Manon kind of gives you some, like, just mediocre tasks to do, um, just to, like, keep you guys busy. Um, you can see off in the distance, though, um, there, you, 
you can't see the ship anymore, but you see as if you are like approaching some sort of island of some sort. Um, Skull Island! <laughs> you wouldn't yeah. send us to Skull Island, would you, Keith? No. It is my shard. I'm guessing the shard is pointing straight at it. Is that it? Um, yes, if you are to take off your shard and use it like a compass, um, it moving it in any direction wouldn't cause it to do anything unless you point towards the island in front of you and it starts to vibrate. Okay. Yeah. So you are going in the right direction. You are following this shard wherever it is pointing you. Um, Val would kind of take notice of what you're doing and just um, say... What are you? What is that? What are you doing? Um, I've been meaning to ask what those things around your head are. Right, these are monarch shards. They uh, are out of character. They're little pieces of a like, psychic like, right? Yes. Okay. They are. They're pieces like of shards. A yeah. Monarch shards, pieces of a fasciculum. These shards call out to one another. And that's how you're able to track. Precisely. As long as Sin has what I want, we could follow her to the ends of the biosphere. You think Sin's has one of these shards? I don't have a shred of doubt in my mind. All right. Well, we can definitely use the extra hands to take care of Silvertooth and the rest of his crew. I am... Uh, thank you in advance for your help. I cannot guarantee your safety, though. I hope you understand that. I have a mission uh, that I must see fulfilled. You can't really guarantee anything. We just... We just try and do what we can for this world. I like the sound of that. Well, we are approaching our destination if they are there then hopefully your shard can find them we could find who you're looking for just got to follow the smell of rotting skin and we'll be good yeah yeah um truly manon would walk up beside valen and this is definitely helpful. At least we're not going to spend another six months looking for you know who. Yes, thank you, Manon. And you should be getting some sleep if we are approaching our destination. Yeah, I, I, I can't just leave. The... Yes, you can. I'll take care of it. And she like throws this like, um, like cloth kind of blanket over him and just kind of like pushes him away, like uh, yes. shoes him away. And then she takes the helm. And you see him, like, walk past, and you see there are, like, dark bags under his eyes. He's been up all night. Um, I'll be getting some rest, but... Thank you, Miss Seekers. Again, I'm glad that you chose to help us. I'm gonna go get some rest now. And he, like, just walks down and... Okay. So, Dara. Yep. The sun begins to rise. You would first see, like, the light of day. Um, and you know that this would be your time to probably start heading towards the beach. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> That's what you call fanfare. <laughs> yeah. okay. Motherfucker had his own fanfare as he walked in the door. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I was gonna wait until I walked this way, but I was like, I can't wait, I can't wait. <laughs> we'll do it now. He's had his own theme song. Because I saw the door unlock and I was like, and then yeah. Andrew was like, like don't, don't, don't. fucking episode of Seinfeld. Give me that Give me that I needed it. I needed it. Oh. Yeah. It was a hey, listen. All right. Derosaurus Rex. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Derosaurus. Derosaurus. 
the oh, other side. Oh shit, I got a new ability. The other side. Oh. <laughs> the other side. Oh. <laughs> the other side. I have a new ability with the Wayne. Okay. Uh, interesting alliance with a bond strength of eight, which I hit legitimately last night. Okay. Uh, while within ten, ma- ten feet of your companion, you gain a plus one bonus on a charisma persuasion checks made against creatures with the same alignment as the companion. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, and for context, lawful neutral. Okay. Wonderful. Sweet. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. All right. So the sun is just about to rise. What are you doing now? I will pack up the few belongings that I set out, uh, get going to start following me. Okay. And I will walk down to the shore. All right. You walk down to the beach of Furwyven, and the sun just begins to rise. And as you're looking out into the sea, you would see that green flash that Marinus had described just as the sun, um, not begins to rise, sorry, begins to like open, right? Right. Um, And just as it opens up and you're like looking out, you see this green flash that And as that happens, like you're still looking out, just nothing appears to happen until you see off in the distance water begin to like rise like a water spout just it stretches up 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 into the air before it like bends over like a fish hook or fishing line just and this thing is is like it's big and you just see it just arch over to like where you're at and you just see this cylindrical like rubber hose of water just and you were like submerged in this water and you feel yourself lifted off the ground as this thing goes through the air and you were just whipped through space as you were just Flung. I can't believe, <laughs> I can't believe Dara's Moana. This is fucking crazy. You are all right. You are I full. I stole the heart from inside you. I know your name. name. <laughs> <laughs> He's so fucking flying. You are flying through the air. And you see below you, now there is a ship, this tiny ant of a ship that is sailing. And you see another ship that has docked. Um, and as you're like looking from above, um, Eskosi, as Marinus was talking about, you can see is just like fragments of um, whatever this corpse is. And it makes up a skull. And you're flying through the air. And now you are dipping down and you are on a crash course to a <laughs> fucking ship. Um, Which ship? The one that's still sailing. Okay. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Which ship? <laughs> Which ship? Oh, hi, um, <laughs> oh, hi Mark. Hi, oh, hello. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I took care of her. <laughs> this is just Radon. Just... <laughs> 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 um, you are falling through the air and as you are like um, you, the ship is getting closer and closer and closer and as you're about to like hit the ship um, another water spout like shoots up and like grasps you in its water before like slowly it begins to like recede down and now you are like waist deep in this water um and it's you're being like dragged down to the ship the rest of you guys what you would see um all of a sudden right beside the ship this water just erupts just like a reverse waterfall and as you're like looking up you see kind of like this um tan orange blob just (laughs) before this before the water spout grabs Dara and starts like dragging him down to the ship. Okay, okay. In this holy what watery the fashion, Dara. What oh. the fuck? Morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> As you like step onto the ship. Morning. Quite an entrance, holy Dara. shit. What the, the fuck? fuck? Marinus. Who the fuck is that? God of the sea. 
So you just fast travel. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. That, not it. Oh, welcome. Um, hey, well, It's been eight hours. We well, missed you. Welcome you see back. everyone on the ship just kind of like staring in shock and awe, <laughs> just like, huh? Oh. That's and the like body one, we want to be One by one, they start to realize. Yeah, that's our guy. Our odds went up. Our odds of seventy five percent now. Our odds of success have just went up, everyone. Gosh, yeah. uh, oh you know who's here? God. We're going to survive. Yes, that's so survive. funny. Um, oh my god. We just need a seventy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Just god. Later. The song that plays when we get a 70. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving jazz. So, um, Dara, aboard the ship, you would obviously see the dark steel knight with the red feather, um, the noble kobold uh, atop his. Um, trusty s- mastiff steed. Um, you would see Manon, the short-haired lady you saw before with Valen. Um, Br- Brill and Amir, the um, dwarf siblings. And then Vicky, uh, who is the red-haired halfling aboard the ship. All kind of just like staring up at you. Um, the dwarf Amir would walk him and go, Well, it's good to finally meet you. We heard a lot about you. It's been... Morning. Um, I it is. Apologies, I'm more disoriented from that than I think all of you are. <laughs> it was quite disorienting, sense, yeah. but, uh... Yeah. yeah. Did I you, uh... Got did sent you through get... the s- sky. I don't know what... Did rate. you get the whiplash? Yeah. Yeah. You had mad fucking air, though. That was sick. That was horrifying. That was sick to watch. If I had not been caught, I would be flat. Can Meredith give me a part? Only reason that I have been granted such a boon yep. uh, is because I agreed to assist him. Okay, well, I mean, we're like a team, so technically oh. that means we also agreed to assist him, so do I get a turn? I don't think so. Fuck! This is why I don't do god shit. I can toss <sighs> you over a board and see if it works. I don't think that's a wise decision. Sometimes because if it, I want to hurt you. Because if it doesn't work, you then always, we have to haul Macau out. You always want to hurt me. It's nothing new. Anyway, we have Most a task. Time. It correlates directly to what we're already doing. Splendid! What's the task? I don't know how much the people here know. Okay. And how much I should let them know. Okay. Especially considering I know nothing about any of these people. No offense to any of you. I just... I landed on your ship. um, (laughs) Manon looks down at all of you and she is just like eyeing all of you. um, Just this like kind of scowl on her face. As long as this doesn't go against our quest, then why don't you tell us? Well, last I heard, the goal was to take down Sid. That's a part of it. The long and short of my quest is stop her from whatever she's trying to do. Hmm. Just with more funky god details? Huh. That's usually how it goes. It's unnecessarily complicated all the time. Yeah, I don't even have all the answers. I'm fucking confused. We're still gonna fuck up Sid, though. What's the rest of your guys' goal? Um, All of them, like, all eyes just towards Manon. And she just... And she begins to, like, walk away from the helm. And um, the knight kind of, like, takes her place at the helm. And she slowly walks down the, like, stairs to you guys. Um, Our goal is to help the captain. The captain's goal is to get his brother back, who is taken captive by Silvertooth. 
it has been months of traveling and searching. And now we finally have a lead because the young lad appeared in Furwyven with Silvertooth and we were lucky enough to be there. I don't know. He did it. Sorry. <laughs> did, did I missed? Did he take him, or did he like? Did, did the brother go with him? Um, I'm a little lost. Before she speaks, you hear Valen, who has like a reapproached. Um, I believe. That Silvertooth has brainwashed my brother. My brother chose to stay with Silvertooth, to stand alongside him. Now from what you were telling me about this sin, perhaps she might have some sort of power to brainwash, to control, manipulate, I don't know. Think so, yeah. She's got like a like a hive mind kind of system going on. From the last thing that I was told, really, hmm. which could potentially like have infected his brother. Yeah. So, if we take out Sin, then the rest of this should be rather easy. But. That is- I will reclaim my brother from the hands of these evil people. It was six months ago when my brother disappeared. And this was the first time I've seen him. You have a way to track down their crew. So you are my best bet at finding them. I am relying on you to help me to help me find my brother again. This has been my sole purpose for the last six months. I don't know what happened to my brother. Hopefully we can find out. And then deal with that. Yeah. We'll leave everything in our power. Thank this you. isn't the first time we've dealt with people who are afflicted by some kind of malady that impacts the way you think and choose. I see. Also not our first rodeo with sin. Also accurate. You did kick her ass last time. Then I'm truly lucky to have you with us. Question for them, for you and your crew. How much do you know of this island that we're approaching? We are approaching the island of Viscosi. Right. An island plagued with creatures. These creatures have not left this island for as long as any sailor can remember. There is a way through, going through treacherous passages, a shortcut that leads from Furwyven all the way to Knetenacht. But it is dangerous. Only the foolish or the most advanced sailors have made it through. I do not know what purpose Silvertooth has on this island. But taking my brother there means that he is in danger. I am willing to risk my life to save my brother. And you would hear um, Manon say... I would also risk my life. And the rest of them also agree that they're willing to give their lives for their captain to see his mission complete. So then, with this knowledge, I'm sure what I know. This Gosi belongs to the body, is, is the body of what it was once a titan. Titan? Something larger than should be. I don't That's know it's impossible. Trust me, I agree. Titans. I've never heard of their existence here. Only giants 
and the rest of them would start to like uh, nod in agreement. Um, the dwarves would also recall that they've only encountered giants before. Anything larger than giants would be akin to a god. And the rest of them, one by one, would start to kind of tell you that Titans, whatever this is, if Eskosi, this island, is actually the corpse of a Titan, this thing is massive. Hey, what the fuck? And nothing right. like this would exist on the biosphere unless it was a god or some sort of creation of a god. Because you guys have seen the Mother Serpent, which was very big but you know that is a creation of the god and they would also kind of tell you that this thing has to be a creation of a god to be this big otherwise there's no way it could have existed the long and short of it is the people going there at least sin wish to make use of the power that Iskosi once held <sighs> yippee I concerning. have been tasked by Maris to stop them. Hence why I have the information I do regarding the fact that this island, archipelago, whatever you may want to call it, is referred to as a titan. I see. So it all coincides. Agreed. That would are good. Very well. Well, we are approaching the island soon. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to get a little more rest before we arrive. Understandable. Go, go to sleep. Go to bed. You've been up all night. Thank you again for your help. Or the help that will come. And he would walk off. <gasps> Is there anything you guys would like to do? Big, I have, obviously. I have more knowledge, but I don't wish to scare the people. Okay. Cool. That, that doesn't... As Brill anyway. is, like, walking by with, like, crates in hand. You can't really scare us. We've gone through a lot already. Trust me. We don't want to know. Um, Manon, like, crosses her arms, leaning up against, like, the railing of the ship. Try us. Whatever this is, it's from beyond this biosphere kind of goes silent on the ship as all of them kind of like look to each other or look around. And I would have more information, but unfortunately this corpse has been here longer than Marinus. Oh. <laughs> how is that? How is that possible? From beyond the biosphere? What does that even mean? There's much more beyond here. Like What? How would you know? The very bare minimum of that answer would be the existence of the creator himself. The architect? Yes. Oh, yeah, that big red book. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Uh. And what information do you have on this? The architect? The creator of everything? The creator of the gods? Not a whole lot, unfortunately. <laughs> like I said, I'm not they trying to cause like... a ruckus here. I'm just sharing what information I do have. It's just confusing, is all. Trust me, I agree. A month ago, I had no knowledge of any of this. How do you know of these other worlds? Things outside the biosphere? Prior encounters and direct conversations with a few gods. Well, I guess you're more knowledgeable than us mere sailors. And she kind of like scoffs as she turns around and walks back up the stairs. Um, no, and that's just like. Vicky would kind of like appear beside you and just goes, 
don't mind her. She means well. She just doesn't have a good way of showing it. I just didn't want to share that information because I knew it wouldn't be received well. It's okay, Billy. As long as we're with the captain, we'll be okay. I sure hope so. Putting a lot of faith in a man that I've only just met last night. Oh, well, Valen is... I mean, he's great. I I would give my life for him. I mean, he helped me a lot. He's helped all of us here. That's why we're all together. Not only that, but have you seen the power he has? Do you know what people call him? They call him the Archangel. He's somewhat of a legend. Well, that's what your status was. (laughs) Maybe. Hey. He is the conduit of storms. Toroweka himself has blessed our captain. That is someone we should follow. Yes, I've seen where people already give their lives. <clears throat> Unfortunately. They all kind of like go quiet for a second. Wait a sour on <laughs> Then Manon would speak up. <laughs> Promise was one of our early members. Valen saved Promise. If it wasn't for Valen, Promise would have been executed. So. Suppose it was a debt repaid. Yes. When Valen saved Promise, Promise gave an oath. They would give their lives for the captain to see their quest fulfilled so that the captain may live to find his brother again. We all know Valen's story. We are going to make sure he finds his brother, no matter the cost. And even though we are sailing to one of the most dangerous places places on the Sonore Sea, together, we will make sure they are. They get back together. And then we must tread carefully. A random question that's kind of off, disconnected, but I do remember seeing it in my conversation with Marinus. It's the largest life form in this sea that you know of. And we kind of like look at each other. Dragon turtle. Okay. It's one that makes an appearance every once in a while. Mostly harmless, except for some of the merchant ships that have come around here. Every once in a while it's attacked, but we believe that it just gets hungry. But most people survive the attack. That one over there almost didn't. And she uh, points to Sir Demetrius Andromedus Borealis, the 13th. Oh my Jesus, he as he's like, by now. As he's like eating like some sort of like bread or biscuit, he just kind of like. <clears throat> I, I, I was attacked, personally <laughs> attacked oh, by wow. this dragon turtle, thank you. And oh. I survived thanks oh. to the captain. Okay. Okay. Glad to hear it. Glad you uh, Anyways, survived. Uh, have you heard of the good word of Grandmaster Filthus? Yes. You... Really? Yeah, uh, yep. Truly? Sure thing. Oh. I don't know what to do now. Would you look at that? That's crazy. I am finally with someone alike. This is a glorious day. All oh, praise be Grandmaster Filthus and the horn of gold that he rests upon. <laughs> and he like run like scurries up to you before he just like kneels down before you and just like clasps your hand and just goes, finally, someone who knows. From behind him, I just look at Darren, I go, dragon. Big Narlavel. <laughs> <laughs> Big fuck Grandmaster. Yes, uh, 
Draconic Overlord is an interesting fellow and one to be worshipped. You see, like, he... <laughs> his head, like, slowly rises and eyes are just gleaming. He has this big, goofy <laughs> smile on his face and he's just so happy that someone in this biosphere knows of his master. And he's just so proud of himself and so happy that he's you're in here. The he's in the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Pray tell, when was the last time you were in the uh, mountain, mountains of Nyarlathal? It's been years. Oh, no. I have traveled long and far to find someone who could share in the glory that is Grandmaster Vilvis. He was sent away. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you, who have fallen from the stars, have landed in my presence. Yep. You are truly one of the divine beings. Praise be, Grandmaster. Divine what? Beans! Ah, yes, right, sorry. Misheard you that. I thought you said divine beings. I'm like, no, not quite. No, no, no. They're beans. Yes. Aren't you a bean? Correct. Bean. Good. Okay. Bean. <laughs> I'm <doing> Anyways, <laughs> I must write a letter. Praise be. And he, like. How did that work? <laughs> In the meantime, I want to try to look for Umta. Okay, yeah. Oh, hey, I want you to bother you. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Bother. Yeah. Um, bother. Good question, request, whatever you want to call it. Just I have a thing, Dara. Do we still have the bullets? We just got launched the fucking sky. Dear. Bullets. Oh. Would you try yeah. and contact Syphix? I, I know it's a hell of a request. I tried and I didn't make it anywhere, but I want to know what it is. I wouldn't hold on to it very long, but it's unpleasant. I don't know if I've ever personally communed with Syphex, but... I mean, you've got the best chance. Oh. As someone who's when, communed with Greater. Um, well, when in doubt, I can always bout the, the Blooming Gods. Maybe they could <laughs> send me their way. Yep, you could do that. <laughs> No. <laughs> so, yeah. You should also ask then if you do that to uh, Escoci over there. Escoci. Mm-hmm. The, the island. Oh, oh right. Titan, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Yes. yes. Big. Okay. Yeah. Just give me uh It's also like Take your time. I don't know what it requires to contact a shattered god. I, uh, um, I think I might be able to help with this one. What? Oh, yeah. Ambrose walks up. Oh. And would it's hand you the small piece of Syphix that you reclaimed very early on in your adventures. No more Syphix. Syphix we've got. The, I'm happy with the Syphix. Yep. I don't know if it will, but mm-hmm. it's helped me with tailoring, so <laughs> maybe it help, will help you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, here goes nothing. Um, okay, I've never tried to contact this guy before. Okay. Yeah. So that, yes. Bullet, Syphix. Fuck with it. What the fuck is this? <laughs> uh, uh, Do they like piece together or anything? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Hello? I doubt it, considering how many there are, but who knows. Blooming gods, how do? <laughs> <laughs> Asking the blooming gods out of contact with their own. Uh, make, a relig- <laughs> make a religion check. Okay. Why not? Oh, contact God. the gods of old. Oh no, he's gone too far. He's reached the architect. <laughs> no! No! You've gone too far. Get <laughs> out. Religion? Agent. Sick. Sick. That is 22 for Agent. 
Well, I set the DC at 20, so. <laughs> Kazumi! Oh, here I am. What kind of trick would you like? Divine. Oh my god. Here's an awesome god, he rage. <laughs> <laughs> God is a thousand guys. God can kill them all. God's got the lagging ball. Why are you rapping to Amazing Grace? God is a thousand guys. Hey. I'm this. I'm man. Far Cry 5 has ruined this song for me. <laughs> I've not played it so long. No. Um, like you hear that song a lot. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. He's very dark. Before, I, before I meet the gods, uh, pause. Oh. He <laughs> understand. Pause. He go after. Yeah. I am hydrated. Jimmy. Me yes. saw who? Me saw who? Welcome back. Welcome. Otherwise known as Ethos. Welcome. Something. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise known as. So. Uh, not Dara. Mirage. Nope. Wrong godly person. Um, <laughs> so, Eve, you try to contact the Blooming Gods. How do you do this? What is your, what is your active worship or prayer or meditation that you do to contact the gods? Um... I just, uh, let's see, I just kind of rest on my knees, hands on my lap, and with a deep breath upon exhale, like, uh, let's see, I want my exhale to start to take the form of, like, a ball of golden light. Oh! Sure, yeah. And then just focus on that and hoping that that, in that for cool visuals, like this, everything just turns black and then that ball just has a bunch of little tethers that just fucking burst out of it. Yeah, absolutely. Infinitely. <laughs> with a, like just reaching to all, like all the biospheres, everything. All the and, corners of space, yeah. yeah. With, I'm assuming that, I was afraid the Blooming Gods were like titanic, like they're fucking colossal. They're cosmic in size, yeah. yeah. So, As from what you have yeah. seen before yeah. in your like vision and everything. And so like I pretty much see like these, these threads essentially creating like a wire frame of the gods. Yeah. And like materializing them. Sure. Yeah. Of course, yeah. You see the three of them just kind of like materialize from golden light in front of you. Um, you would see uh, Visayan, who has a very similar body to what Vasilius would look like, but is just made of pure golden light. Um, Goal is almost the same thing, but you can't really see a body as he is darkness. And then Atakun doesn't really have a form. So you would just kind of see what... Um, she would want you to perceive her as which is a like golden tree or tree with golden light surrounding it it's like that green golden light that dara has seen before it's almost exactly that all right mm -hmm. so those three would kind of like appear before you um in a size that you can see and, and like perceive so they like look down uh upon you um, and then collectively as one voice um, would speak to you um, and they ask you what you want essentially I apologize for bothering you guys out of the blue I need your help understanding a few things go on First things first, this strange bullet, it 
prevent my friend from using healing magic on someone who might eventually, soon later, lose their life. This is... Does this thing block Omar's magic? Is this... of this biosphere? Go ahead and roll a persuasion check for me. Persuasion. Cocked. Yeah, 19. This bullet you speak of is made by an artificer imbued with necrotic magic. One that can stop a life from returning or being healed. Who is this artificer? Persuasion check. Oh, come on, you guys are homies. What the fuck? Such teams. Oh my god. <laughs> the gloomy boys. I thought we were friends. <laughs> yeah. That's a 20. Let's fucking go. Today come is on, a fucking pookies. day. Let's go, Pookies. Bring it home. I am Pook. <laughs> An artificer known as Thatch Olikin. A genius in his race. One that can build weapons of black powder. Not only that, but Thatch can imbue these weapons with this necrotic magic. With the help of a necromancer. Or one type of necromancer. You know of this one. We need not speak a name. Already tracking them. Is there a way to, if one is stricken with this black magic bullet, is there a way to, is the situation dire? Is there a way to reverse the effects or heal someone? If this bullet finds its way, into your body, specifically at a point where magic is held, then no. This creation was to stop the flow of magic and then kill it, diffusing the light within someone.
do you think these bullets So I've seen devastating work from the Sun Mortals. What if a god were stricken with one of these? It would take more than one. Gods are divine creations of us an extension of our own bodies. They would not be so easily defeated by one of these bullets. These weapons created by this thatch, they are strong against mortals, but against gods, they are not so powerful. That also leaves another haunting inquiry. We are approaching what is believed to be an an island that was, that is, a corpse of a god. Make a wisdom saving throw. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Not so for god. Oh. Titan. You said Titan. Yep. Ha ha. Titan. 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 Five. As soon as you mention that, your vision is almost, is thrusted through that of space itself before you land on this, this world. But through this kind of like, thrusting of your vision, you are you are thrusted out of this bubble to where the stars are held into an infinite blackness and you see surrounding this spherical planet this eternal storm and you can see lightning flashing around it before you are bamped back to where you are currently now with the blooming gods in front of you. of us. This, that dark, stormy world, was, was it not you? Who no. Just took me to something? You've been right here. And what did this look like? Something spherical, something planet-like with with a storm, an eternal storm. It it reminds me of this strange uh, the other day when trying to seek in my son's light I was brought into a very similar desolate, stormy wasteland where I followed that light into the corpse of something colossal. We know of what you speak of. Though we did not send you there. You speak of one of the husk worlds. Dead worlds that were abandoned, left to live outside the bubble, in the void. 
to erode away into darkness and nothingness. And you have stepped foot in it. We only know of one such creature that has ever escaped the husk world. Unfortunately, it was our own doing. The Titan. The parasitic Titan, Escosi. Before our creator condemned the world to death, this Titan latched onto one of us, one of its parasites. And as Ethos grew, so too did this parasite, until Niskosi was reborn on the biosphere. But it could not survive. Eskosi died, its corpse remains. Its parasites remain. But the Titan can never come back. Can you tell me of these parasites? I have it. Hold on. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. This is decades old lore for keeping this one. I don't know. How long ago did you write this? Oh! <laughs> that, that's a pretty good answer there, honestly. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hold on. There it is. I found it. Don't worry about it. Hey. Don't worry about it, baby girl. <laughs> um, okay, 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 okay. It is a... Jesus Christ, where the fuck is it? I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm so really trying. You, what do I do with all this day old meat? Stew it, stew it. Senator Palpatine, would you like some coffee? <laughs> Senator Palpatine, did you uh, did you manage to ask that really hot girl out yesterday? Do it. <laughs> they <laughs> did. <laughs> Senator Palpatine, I didn't know that you had a garden. Do it. They describe these creatures as walking on all fours bone white the skull with hollow eyes nose and like a hollow eyes and hollow like nose socket um hunched back with an amalgamation of skulls that are like molded into its body um made of like sinewy red fleshy tendons that like stretch around it it has like this wide open mouth it's the same creatures you've seen before <laughs> Knew it. I'm a mad scientist. It's so cool. Son of a bitch. But I have one last inquiry. Hmm. What can you tell me about sin? Persuasion check. <laughs> Don't let us down, baby boy. I am the baby. Persuasion? Hey. hey. 
17. Let's go. I know it's the Blooming Dots, but I mean, I'm a... I'm a you guys are ass. homies at this point. Yeah, we are. <laughs> We're on a first name. Mm -hmm. This <laughs> sin you speak of is a soulless creature. One that roams the biosphere, taking orders from its master. Yeah. It lives to serve without question. Was she always soulless? No. Do you know what happened to her? We do. Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was your three questions. Anyways. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Precisely. Sin of old died of a horrible disease. But she was Beautiful. reborn by a strange substance that was created by someone someone we think you know. A little too well, I'm afraid. This chemical is like a plague. Those who have taken this substance are changed physically. Sometimes they are unkillable by normal means. By knowable means. Un unkillable by knowable means. No. Something tells me you do know. Not to kill her. Or at the very least, stop her. We do not trifle with the biosphere. We have our creations to do that. We simply watch until we are told what to do. The duty she carries out trifles the biosphere. I meddle with those who tamper with this balance. That's why I'm your champion. You can sit tight and let me take care of it. I just need to know. I just need to know what to do and how to do it. Make a persuasion check. Seven. <laughs> yeah. It's like, dude, Why? she's really pretty for a normal. Whoops. Where'd that go? Oh, hello. material in your hand can be used against her. But this creature is crafty. 
she will control those near her to ensure her survival. She is already close to seeking out what she needs for her master. And that piece being the bullet, right? I'm a little slow. Oh, oh pfft. You know what? I'm just going to infer that it's the bullet. And not the <laughs> piece. It's not the piece of Syphix. It's not the Syphix. It's just like, it's a, it's a thing. It's cool. Mm. I love it. All right. Okay. Mama can put one together. Very good. Cool. Good job, Mama. Your world needs you back. We will speak again. Goodbye. I look forward to it. Keep watching. With that, you are thrusted back into the real world. During this time, as Mirage... Um, goes onto her knees to begin prayer. Um, you guys would kind of like watch her for a brief moment. And this goes on for maybe a minute that Mirage is kind of just sitting there silently. Um, when all of a sudden there would be another explosion of water just <laughs> rocking the ship. <laughs> Rising up from a water is this darkened ship with tattered masts and sails and rising up is a crew of skeletons riding this blackened um eroded ship just it's the black as the ship rocks, Valen comes running up from underneath um, and is just yelling to everyone to man the battle stations, to get on the cannons, get on the blisses, anything they can to defend themselves. Um, as this ship pops up out of the water, um, you can see it's roughly the same like size and type of ship as yours, uh, manned by all of these different skeletons who have like seaweed or moss or whatever, like barnacles encrusted onto their bones. Um, all the while, Mirage is still in this trance. Wow! <laughs> um, so. How this works uh, with the ship, um, you guys are all crewmates. Um, so you, um, at the top of the round, um, will have a ship round. Okay. Um, so it'll be determined which ship goes first by whoever like rolls the highest. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, it, combat will be the same as usual. So either you guys will go first or the other crew mm -hmm. and you guys will battle it out. Um, the ship does have its own AC and health. It's very much like Starfinder combat, um, but s very much more simplified. Um, where there is like a damage threshold, um, it's own AC, own HP, all that kind of stuff. So, um, yes. Bah, bah, How close are they? Bah, bah. Very. They Good. Up the, right next to you. Stupendous! <laughs> I like those words. Scholar! I have an ability for these fuckers. <laughs> it's the fact that you laughed before I even said anything. You're like, hey, watch this. <laughs> It just reminded me of this scene where <laughs> Monster Hunter just <laughs> and runs away. I'm seeing you later. <laughs> <laughs> he like gags when he stops himself from running. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Evelyn hasn't watched it and we're going to someday. Hell I love yeah. that movie. It's so good. It's so bad that it's good. Does that make sense? Oh, hey. it also, it's, it's just good. I don't know what I'm in my mouth. I think the animation style just throws me off because it's like it's also made in the 2007. Yes. <laughs> it's all the it, shit. It's Monster uncanny, House? It's like Uncanny Valley type shit. And Monster it House? Me off. Monster House is old. I don't it's also old. one of the first like spooky movies I watched as a kid, so I was like, <gasps> 2006. Uh, do you still have your uh, spell mats? Yes. 
I don't really mean missed that. out oh, on that. No. <laughs> I'm scared, say. but also excited. You have. I have a very specific ability as a dru- druid. Cleric. <laughs> I thought you were going to say dwarf for a second. I was like, huh? <laughs> yeah, uh, they're a dwarf now. He shrank. He shrank approximately four feet. Small boy. <laughs> 2006 is considered old. <laughs> for a movie? Yes, it is getting old now, unfortunately. Yeah. It's 18 years old. Wow. That sure is 18 years ago. Oh, yay. Yeah, the numbers you didn't want to hear. No. No. Okay, I'm so excited. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Also, come here. I recognize one of those minis and it brings me joy. Boat initiative so someone can roll boat, for a boat. Boat, boat. Not boat, me. Boat. Just like, is it a normal You're initiative right or does, is there a different modifier for the boat? <laughs> Um, it is just a normal roll, I believe. I do hey. plus four. Am I technically awake or am I still like in You're a trance? trance. Okay, You're in God cool. time right now. All right. So are we using you our own this, initiative guys. for boat initiative or? We're just rolling a d20. Yep. <sighs> Ooh. Yeah, okay, so... So remember that net 20 that I rolled at the very beginning of the session? That what was the a, hell did you roll? That was a fucking lie! <laughs> Skeletons will go first. Yeah. Um, now you guys yeah. can roll for it. Skellywags. what I get? Yes, yeah, just like, So Skelly just double checking, it's boat time and then individual initiative stuff. Yes, because okay. the boat acts as not only a, a like person, oh. but a active battlefield. Like a move. Oh, amazing. Initiatives. Uh, sorry. Then. Fuck! Ah! Oh, Damn. Nine. nine. Damn! It got better by one. Initiatives. Oh, I thought I'm like. Bleh. You still roll. Okay. Okay. You'll come back later. That's one big thing. Out. Out. Tree. Tree. Mm-hmm. Five. Okay. Tree of. I rolled a two. It's the tree bore is shit fruit. Well, I don't have to roll that high, so the skeletons will go first too. Yeah, give them to me. No. Okay, so boat round first. Um, Let's try magic man with my fucking dice. Let me. No. Let's see what I can do. Because I believe you'll get it back. You guys can either make it. Turn or something. Bro. Is that a ghost of salt bar? Yeah. That's the best book. This is kind of what I'm using for my other campaign. It's really cool. So I'll I'll stay unconscious. uh, First action, they are going to uh, fire the ballista at your warship. Um, So if someone wants to mark this down really quickly for your warship. Um, Well. You guys, uh, your hole is has an AC of 15. Okay. And hit points of 500. Yeah, fuck with a skelly boy. Okay. And I will, I'll give you other information if they hit other specific things, but that should be it for now. Um, your movement speed is at the end 35. Um, 35 feet? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's it for just so you know, and they're gonna take the ballista and they're just gonna fire it directly into your hole. Um, really? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is no. a, <laughs> it is 16 plus their, I think it's just a straight roll. We're just gonna use straight roll for this one. It's a 16, so they are going to hit. Um, so they do 3d10 damage. Jesus. Uh, I'm so scared. Seven, eight. Haha, <laughs> don't be scared, baby. Nine. <laughs> or are we just are we just damage? <laughs> okay. Uh, That's it. I'll never be scared. <laughs> huh? So they don't What's actually it? do any damage to your hole. Oh, it's like. Oh. Uh, did they not? Because the damage threshold is 20. <laughs> oh my god. 
What's yeah. up? So they fire the ballista, it doesn't do anything, so okay. they're going to fire one of their cannons from below. Um, oh, well, they're a... gonna fucking bitch. False. They hit. Oh. Um, uh. Nah, dude. 5d. <laughs> I would hope they hit it fucking point blank. Um, <laughs> miss. 13. Uh, 33, 31. Uh, 41 points of damage to your hole. Okay. These fire cannon goes right through. Um, okay, and then they're going to move. Uh, so they're going to use 35 feet to move. Like I was just fucking running around and the fucking cannons are firing. He goes, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> He's just running like crazy. <laughs> So move it seven squares up. Okay. And then they're going to turn that way. No. Keep going right there. Stop. Oh. They're gonna only go like 45 degrees, so we'll only have that. Stop, stop it. And Why are you moving it up? Move it back. Move it down. There you go, right there. Yep, right there's fine. Right there, yeah. That would be it. Yep. Okay, now it is your guys' warship's turn. So again, uh, three actions: ballista, mangan, or not mangan, uh, cannons. Uh, I want to fire mangan. off the cannon. Oh. And you can move. Well, I'm using mangonel as your cannon stats. Oh. Um, uh, okay, or and you can move. Um, like so that's your warship movements. You can target specific places <laughs> too of their ship. Um, you can target their weapons, you can target their sails, their oars, their helm, or their hull. I feel like turning to shoot is a good idea. Like, trying to jump the gap, would that be a long jump? We're not there yet. Yeah, we're not uh, there. Yeah, it's technically the warships. We're jumps. doing uh, bolt turns first. Yeah. Bolt turns first, okay. I feel like... Uh, you, also, stop. you also do have a ram, so you can ram their ship if you want to. I want. Oh, God. Do not. I love how we're if you attack with the ram, the damage dealt to both ships, um, well, to your ship, would be a, a the ram, not your actual ship. Okay, I feel like we should just avoid oh, ramming. Ram yeah. yeah. It's like always we, suggested to avoid ramming because yeah, it's I, always detrimental. Yeah. I feel like we should just naval combat turn slightly so that we can pew 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 pew. pew, pew. Yes, like, like this. Okay, probably. Yeah. Or, and you still have your movement if you want to do that too. Yeah. Um, the only downfall of that is then I can't use turn on deck. Mm, we could move. We could move up and turn. So hold that on me if we wanted to. We can do one, two, three, and you can then move turn up to ninety degrees. So, so we could turn like could that. Could do that. That would work. Because hey. I moved up one. three squares and then turned about forty-five the same as they did. Yeah, Except so for they moved up seven. This is with one so I don't know if that's now whatever. Okay. So that was your movement. You still have your cannons and ballista. You can Cannon! shoot your weapons at the crew members too. Like, cannon! I yeah, want to shoot a cannon! At least I think that's a thing. Hold on. I think you should probably focus on taking out the helm because that sticks them yeah. in the water. Yeah. Shoot the cannon at the helm! It's like either directly in the middle or at the at the helm. Shoot the cannon at the helm! Could, or we could. Titanic, their ass. So, what do you do? I say we aim all weaponry right at the helm. Yeah. I'll second go. this. Go. At the helm. I'll second um, this. You can command your officers to take aim, which gives you advantage. Yeah? Yes! All right, so you're taking aim, you get an advantage on the blister or the cannon. <laughs> the cannon. Okay. Grab the tip and twist it. <laughs> and you're shooting towards the helm? helm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, you have advantage, so go ahead and fire. You want to go pew pew? Yep. Okay. Okay. Thank God for advantage. Uh, 17? 17 doesn't hit. Hold on, what, what do we what? add for that? 
cook. Because I don't know what I'm on fire. If it's actually going to be based off of Dex, then I should not be the one firing. Yeah, we'll give that to Jamie. I've got a plus four in my dexterity. I've got a plus three. I'm quite dexterous. Unfortunately, <laughs> I am useless in the boat. I'm the real Mikhail. <laughs> I'm the real Mikhail, actually. Yeah. That's what I've said, like, the whole time. I'm gonna have a fucking critical role Ford accent reveal. I'm the bitch doggy. <laughs> Except I'm, I'm not going from Southern to British. I'm going from Russian to Scottish. Scott. One of my coworkers asked me what voice I gave to Macau because I talk about him a lot of work. They're like, what? Like, did you give him like uh, like a fun character voice? I'm like, yeah, I gave him an accent. And they're like, oh, what accent did you give him? And I, I, my genuine answer is Russian. <laughs> and they're like, oh, Russian. I went, no, Russian? <laughs> <laughs> Very so, vaguely? Yeah. She's like, I wanted to give Eve a Russian accent because like I uh, her name, I love, everything. I love and then how in we the first session, went. I forgot how to do a Russian accent. Oh, no. And then you did plus, it. You have a like, plus right, four. Russian. No. I'm you just like four. breathy babe. So we all worship. Uh, attacks, it is plus four. So that okay, is 21. 21 does it. Thank God. Oh, oh, oh. We've done that. Okay, so Thomas. now you roll for damage. What are you using again? Cannon. The, Cannon? The, the big one okay. is the pew pew. Um, 5d10. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. And sorry, with the cannon, you have a plus five to hit, so that definitely oh. hits. Sixteen, twenty-one. 24. Wow, I rolled way really earlier than you did. 27 for 5d10. 27, okay. Um, it has 50 hit points, so you did 27, so that is 23 left. Yep. Okay, very good. Yeah, you destroyed a half of the helm and they're just trying to like really take control. But uh, yeah, okay, so that is the cannon. You still have your ballistas to fire. I want, oh, to, fire. I I want to fire the ballistas. Reactions. Right. Lista, cannon, and movement. I mm. thought that commanding an officer was an action. That's, that's their action. Oh! oh so I want to fire the ballista. Okay, you still have Manon and or Valen to take it if you want to do your manage. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah! What are you firing at? I'm still going for the helm. Okay. Does it have a D- DT? 22 to hit. Um, The helm does not. Oh, 20 to hit, and that hits. Uh, 3d10 for the ballista. Yeah. And ballistas have a plus 6 to hit. Oh! So that was like a 24 to yeah. hit then. Terror? 22 points of damage. That's 1 HP left. It's That's fine. Fuck! Fuck! Okay. Let me just... <laughs> Let me get over there! Okay, uh, it is now the skeleton's turn. Um, so, Very simple. I'm gonna make three ranged attacks. Um, we'll roll a 1d4 to see who they hit. Um, one, two, three, four, Macau. Hi. Uh, Dara. And Dara. So two against Dara, um, neither of those hit, and one against the Macau, that is cocked, that doesn't hit, um, okay. And then three of them, uh, the three closest ones. Okay. Hey. Oh, I think all of them are actually gonna stay on the ship. I so need you range, and meet. They're gonna make range of attacks as well. Um, Mirage. <laughs> Mirage, no! Dara. No! Like I okay. said, I want to switch places. Uh, what's your AC? Does a 17 hit? Yes. Okay. Um, so two of those hit. We're gonna just do. Four. Motherfucker! Yes, it does. Five plus. 10, 15 points of damage to you. Whoa. Um, and Dara, oh, that does not hit. Okay. Um, all right. Your guys' turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to switch places with Mirage. Real, real simple. I aloft Aldira's necklace. Yeah, bitch. Turn undead. 
Fuck yeah. yeah. Everything within 30 feet of me needs to make me a wisdom saving throw that's undead. Yeah, yeah. yeah bitch. Everything Let's go, Papa D. Yeah, yeah. that is everything. Fuck. <laughs> Do you want to swap places? I'm yeah. pretty sure that's everything. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got strong. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got blind sight. Come so, on, Big D. Seven rolls. Okay. Uh, uh, first one fails. Did both sevens? Two, two of them fail. Four of them fail. <laughs> Five of them fail. <laughs> Six of them fail. <laughs> None of them have rolled above a ten. Okay, bye. <laughs> Seventh it, one. It was a fail. It was a three. Ultron combo. Because the DC on that is a like sixteen. All of them rolled below a ten. Let's fucking go. Oh, They're skeletons. They don't get the wisdom. So what the fuck just happened? So sweep. That's what fucking no. Happens. It's like it's not destroy undead. So. Turn undead. A turned creature must spend its turns trying to move as far away from you as it can, and it can't cannot willingly move to a space within 30 feet of you. It also can't take reactions. For its action, it can only use the dash action or try to escape from an effect that prevents it from moving. If there's nowhere to move, the creature can use the dodge action. They are turned for one minute. Or until it takes any damage. Our odds just went up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they only take the dodge action because they're not going to willingly go into the water, but all of them are going to go to the railing of the ship. Yep. And then all of them are going to take the dodge action the next turn. But yeah, okay. Damn. All of them just... What is this? What does this look like? What is this? Well, how do you frighten all of these creatures? Take them! Oh, I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. To go on. <laughs> All of them. Fuck. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. I got this bitch. <laughs> Hold on. Man, yeah, the entire word. I had it. Gone. <laughs> to go on. <laughs> to go on. Turn these foul beasts! Yeah! All of them are just fucking. They run to the railing of the ship. All Turn right. these rally fucks around! So I know that they're all gonna take the dodge action. Very good. All right. What are the rest of you doing? I wanna, They'll do it next round. So they're. I want to. I want to. I want to drop the gap. I want to uh, drop the gap. Boarding okay. actions. Huh? <laughs> boarding action. No. Uh, okay, so jumping a lot. Uh, jumping is your strength. That's how many feet you can jump just by standing, but if you long jump, it's a plus something. Hold on. Because, like, it's not up. so far, so I mean, hey, but. Your strength does determine how long you can jump. Blah, blah, blah. You could use a rope to it. So, when you make a long jump, you can cover a number of feet up to your strength score if you move at least 10 feet oh. on foot immediately. By yeah. making a standing long jump, you can only leap half that distance. Oh, so, so what's your strength run. score? What's your strength oh, score? 18. So, 9 feet, which is. Yeah, if you, if you do a standing jump, you can make it because you're, you're only like 5 feet away. Yeah, yeah. especially if you did a running jump. Uh, I'm going to back up. Back up 10 feet, okay. Yep, and I'm running on my Okay, so you can go up to 18 feet, which is three squares from there. So, so you yeah. back up 10 and then you move 10. So that's 20 and then you jump three squares. So you have 20 more. How much movement do you have? You have 40. 14. Right? Yeah, so you have 20 feet oh, movement left. Amazing, I'll run up to the nearest one. Very good. And push just shove. <laughs> Idiot. Just I was gonna hit him, dumbass. Okay. I'm gonna Watch hit him, him with my <laughs> bags. Very good. Not recklessly. <laughs> Get dunked. Oh. Get dunked on. No. But okay. Uh, I have to make a correction. When you make a jump, each foot that you clear on the jump does cost a foot of movement. That's stupid. Yeah, that's dumb. I mean, no. You go, but if you well, uh, So you would have moved. 20. It's supposed to cost more. So that way you're not just jumping okay. everywhere. Yeah, I guess. Um. Okay. So. I I would still be able to move up. Like yeah, you still have a little. Yeah, yeah you have oh, a little extra. That's fine. Now we know though. I mean, you also have a glaive. Yes, you go. 
Oh, that's yes. an 18 on the die. Oh, but true. It's yeah. an 18 on the die plus that eight. Like... I'm gonna roll damage for that one and see if it fucking just outright. That does unturn it. it, unfortunately. Do you have the rings? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Goodbye, microphone. Ring it up. Sweet. <laughs> Oh, oh. going to cost me. I... You're going to have to Uh, 12 damage. Does that kill it? Yes. Okay, no, then to I'm to going to target the bluish, greenish looking fellow okay. on the other side for my second attack. That's oh, so a 14 on the die plus uh, 8. Yeah, it's... Amazing. All I got to do is roll back to a 7. Ah, so nine. Okay, not dead yet, still alive. What? Nine plus. Yeah, nine, nine plus, plus oh, my five, so 14. Okay, then yeah. <laughs> and goodbye, you just see him like, mm, do, do, do. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> ah, so I'm doing with my turn. Oh, oh, oh okay. Mm. Interesting. What? <laughs> You'll see. It's okay. Are they just gonna swarm me? No, we'll keep yeah, going. They can't. Oh, that's my turn. Oh, okay, well, then it's the rest of you guys do. Um, are there, is the, the mass of their ship, like the big sail, is it uh, fully functional? Eh, uh, kind of. It's tattered, but it's, yeah, it's functional. It's tattered for aesthetic, I think. Yeah. Okay. It's aesthetically tattered. Would it be a waste of my action to get up there and fuck it up so they can't sail anymore? I would just use your ship for that, and we're already destroying the crew anyway. I got boots. The helm is at one. Um, but you can destroy their sails if you want to try. Um. So I know that the, the helm is at, they got one hit point left on that bad boy, and then it's probably going to go, yeah. Um. Well, yeah, if you can't, if you destroy the helm, they, uh... They can't move. Can't turn. Oh. So they will continue to go straight for, oh. e- for eternity. That's... What are they currently pointed, pointed at? Huh? What are they currently pointed at? Uh, you guys were heading straight towards the island, so you're kind of turning away from it now. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um... I was hoping we were closer to the island. Would it be even remotely feasible for me to use uh my little flutter boot boys to get to the helm and like beat the shit out of it or sure <laughs> just you can start, definitely do that this is not structurally sound <laughs> just just wail on it sure okay um i mean it's kind of literally one hp yeah how does that work okay so i think it's a bonus action to click them um is it going to flying i have it right here i don't know why i'm asking questions i <laughs> I did forget to write that part down. I apologize. So I have look it up. It's okay. I, I can it. also come all right. Wings down. boots. Uh, you while you are wearing these boots, you have a flying speed equal to your walking speed. You can also use the boots to fly up to four hours, all at once or in several shorter flights. Each one using a minimum of one minute from the duration. If you are flying when the duration expires, you descend. Yada yada. So boots regain two hours of flying. So you just have I'm flying just speed go. equal to your walking okay, speed. Okay, that's what I thought. So then I will. Which means you have your flying speed. Speed plus walking speed, which means you go far. Yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah. so I go. I go. I like jump off the side of the ship and uh, just go. I'm being stupid and then I, like launch myself off and then fly to the front and just start just trying to break it. Make an attack against okay. it. Okay. I fly. It's an 18 AC. Okay. Hey. Hey. Okay. Attack number two. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it explodes into wood. And then just for good measure, I, I can't get him like, 
bam, bam. And then, then I try to start flying back up. Okay. I don't know how much movement I just used. I could get back on the ship. Okay. <laughs> I, I come back up and just... It wasn't that stupid! <laughs> Very good. Yay, that's it. That's all for me. Okay. That's all, folks. You're in God Town. Mm-hmm. Also bleeding. Yeah. Yeah. Bleeding uh, into God Town. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Okay. Da, da, da. Top worship round. It can only move forward. Worship round. I thought you said <laughs> worship? I heard worship. We already did. Our God <laughs> is in the sun going. <laughs> yeah, bitch. So it is going to continue to move. Oh, God. So, and they don't have anyone manning the cannons or ballista because every single one of them failed. Mm hmm. End of worship round. Your turn. <laughs> yeah, bitch. So we shoot him again. Yeah. We have one of them use advantage for the cannon, the other one use advantage for the ballista, because we yeah. have two officers. Mm -hmm. Or we could also anchor it to let them just leave, because they can't turn. No, that's a scourge. We should get rid of them. We're just like, bye! And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're, they're bitch-ass pansies. We can okay, get rid of fair them. point, fair point. We're going to destroy two of them in one turn. Yeah. Which I do, I do enjoy that. that is We're going to be fine forever. Yeah. We're going to live forever. Crypt is here with us right now. You just they... hear, she stood in the corner, I'm going to live forever! One of the many times in which I have stolen other people's fucking dialogue. Yeah, I frequently. I yeah, do. welcome to the ADHD and autism mat, uh, mask where you steal other per people's personality because you can't fabricate your own. Welcome. So I guess just pew pew time. If I, no, no, 90% of the time I'm using other people's jokes. If I'm telling a joke, assume it's not mine. <laughs> I have stolen it. Just like the rest of my personality. I will do it again. These are your guys' turn. Yeah, we pew pew time. Okay, we go ahead and pew pew. Do what are you pew pew pewing at? Pew pew. Uh, uh, yeah, well, we already blew with the up ballista. their fucking helm. Yeah. I'm gonna pew-pew with the ballista again. Okay. And okay, what I'm hitting? taking one of the advantages. I'm hitting, like, the middle of the boat. Or... What are the options for what we can hit again? Weapons, mast. Uh, weapons, mast, and the hole. What do you want to hit? I'll go for the weapons. Uh -huh. Another weapons. It's a plus six with the ballista. Yes. And then I'm using one of the advantages. Yep. We only got two sets of weapon, got two sets of advantage. Fuck Fucking 26. Or 24 like last time. To hit the weapons. weapons. Which one? Blue star or cannons? Up to you. Cannons do more damage, but they have a lower chance to hit. Yeah. I'm gonna knock out one of their cannons. Okay, it hits. Twenty points of damage. Kate's still standing. Hi. Right. You. Shoot. Kind of. Remind me what the modifier is for the cannons. It's five. It, you have eighteen plus five. Oh. oh. It's seven. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't need a bit. <laughs> and then the damage on that's the that's the D ten, right? Yep. It's oh, five D ten. Five of them. Okay. One. Two, three, four, five. Am I missing one? 26. You needed 24 earlier. You did 24, 20, right? 20. 20. 20. It's still standing. Disgusting. <laughs> Okay, end of worship rounds. Um, you guys are continuing sailing forward. Uh, as you guys are sailing, you would um, hear Vicky yell out, uh, rocks ahead. And as you look, you can see <gasps> both ships are kind of on a collision course to like this scattered abundance of rocks. Fuckers! 
Yeah, maybe next to worship bread. We just yeah. yeah. All right, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Mikhail goes to the very front of our ship on the ramping thing with the boots and is just trying to fly backwards. And like, <laughs> turn, turn. Well, and then I would get back on the ship. I'm gonna take my two hits first. Okay. <laughs> Understandable. And I'm like, give me a moment! <laughs> Understandable. Okay, it's at disadvantage. Oh, because you're dodging. Yep. Yeah. So, what's the total of the first one? 14. Nice. Nice. Ten. Ten. Points of damage to the one, the, the pink and... Pink one? That's still alive. Hit it again. Death. 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 Fifteen to hit. Fifteen hits. Max damage. Fifteen. All right, that thing's obliterated. Bones explode. <laughs> Dong. And I just... Hup, hup, hup. What did I... Hup. As I did the thing. What'd you do? What'd they go? Oh. I ate it, actually. Sorry. I was feeling a little peckish. The chips were really doing the it. Ship. I needed something with it, but that can't fall yeah, back. Yeah, get to get back here. It's plastic, so it okay. Okay. listen! Very good. It'll last for a minute, damn. I can follow yeah. directions. Your thing lasts for a minute. Yep. Okay, what else are you so, guys doing? Nine more rounds. So eight more after this one. I can follow directions. Shit. Well. I would say we uh, let him sink. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you guys just pass in all your other turns to let him die? Yeah. I mean, if we hit them, yeah. then they have a chance. I know. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, anyway. Um, and then we anchor, and our next turn, we watch them die. I want these Stay scaly boys. The <laughs> I want these scaly boys to die scared. Okay. Of Tagong. Yeah. So, are you guys anchoring or are you turning? I say we turn and anchor. We'll probably have to do one and then the other. We'll probably have to anchor. Well, you and can turn, turn away from the rocks if oh. you want to. Well, then yeah, we just turn. I just don't want to get us set too off course because the only way we can turn right now is this way. Yeah, but once you're out of combat, you can just yeah, continue. Yeah, that's of course correct. Yeah, okay. So, okay. <laughs> Vicky yells out rocks ahead, and after all you guys get back to the ship, you just decide to let the skeleton ship go to just be blasted by these rocks. So as your ship turns and theirs doesn't, and all of them are still scared of the fucking symbol of Tagalm, you just see the ship just... Sh- rock. <coughs> Other rock. <coughs> It just explodes into wood as it keeps slamming into bits of rock everywhere. That's what you get for so, yeah. to go. <laughs> and you guys turn around and correct your course back to the island as that ship is obliterated. Okay. Well, I feel like this is a Matt Mercer moment. Yep. I had so much more planned. I forgot you were a fucking cleric. <laughs> 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 My base class. <laughs> I know, I'm poor core. I'm like, skeleton ship, yay! <laughs> no. Skull ship! Earlier hey, you mentioned the, drag, the dragon turtle. Yeah. Um, I was not gonna throw that at you. No, but I immediately had <laughs> anger PTSD, like dungeon master anger PTSD, oh. because in my first homebrew campaign, I hyped up the, the king of the sea for That's right. And they polymorphed into a turtle. And then they polymorphed it into a baby turtle, and then just sailed away. Yeah. Question. Yes. What was their CR each skeleton? I don't know. Because the reason I ask is if I had one more level in cleric, I, yeah, I just didn't take as many levels as I did in druid. Uh-huh. Destroy undead instead, because it would have been leveled up. Anything below <laughs> CR one half is just immediately obliterated if it fails. Yeah. I didn't look it up. I'm like, they're just skeletons. They're just, uh, it's fine. And then once you were like turning, then I'm like, I don't have to have stats. They're just they're, they're, <laughs> they're fucked. Fine. Yeah. Unless they survive ten rounds, which is <laughs> <laughs> not impossible, just not probable. Um, so yeah, skeleton ship explodes, and you continue on your way to the island oh, of yeah. Escosi. 
Um, <laughs> skeleton standard is a CR of one quarter. Yeah, that's, that sounds about right. The babies. Um, what the fuck was I looking up? Music. <laughs> Get your own. You have your own. You do. My purple one got stolen. You have more water bottles. Okay, so after the skirmish with the skeletons, your guys' ship taking uh, very, very minimal damage. Um, you guys continues sailing towards Eskosi. At this point in time, Mirage, you would awake with searing pain uh, as you see uh, like arrows in you and you are currently being tended to by uh, Manon who has come over and sort of like trying to like pull the arrows out and like start bandaging you. But yeah, you wake up with just this searing pain. What well, happened? Hi Mirage, oh, welcome she's back. back. Hi. She's back, she's back. Uh, while you were uh, praying, we uh, Took down a skeleton ship. Oh, this sounds exciting. Can, uh, I flew in front of it and I punched it. I also <laughs> bridged the gap by jumping on the beam of the I frightened the entire crew so they put into the rocks. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of upset I missed the whole thing. This sounds exciting. Um, I mean, how to be fair, did was... this, did this, I guess this is just a. Battle is moving the they just shot arrows at you because um, apparently shooting at helpless fucking strangers is a normal thing. Yeah. Do. Why do you yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. something on your mind, Ambrose? No. <laughs> what? You good? Yes. What? I was helping manning the cannons. Yeah, suspicious. Okay, but I'm sorry for being concerned. Yeah, but am I just losing blood, or was it... right. did I assume that you were laughing at something? I think that's the blood. Oh, okay. I mean, the blood. Yeah. You know, let's let's get you bandage up and let's go play you down for a little bit, okay? Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Cause yeah, I got a I got an update. I only got. Yeah. Wait, we can. Yeah. Do, yeah, we can do you want to? Let's get you laid down for like an hour or so, and then you can okay. you can come back and tell us. And but after that, I just <laughs> pick you up and what? I like take you to your hammock. Oh, thank you. Uh, are you guys all right? Yeah, we're yeah, no, what a fight. Sounds like an you intense don't, battle. You don't need to worry about this right now. You need. Oh, yes, I have. It must have. I don't know. Must have gone on for ages. Not long. No. 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 no it's been not long at all. Uh, oh. Like a single minute. The, yeah. The ship was gone in. Oh. Approximately 18 seconds. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, so, well, uh, come on. <laughs> it popped um, up and it fucking exploded. <laughs> We're about to go there. And then I just, you guys keep talking, I'm just walking Sweet. away with her in my arms. God, if they had the helm, this would have been more interesting. Yeah. Than that. I lay you down, I like so put the blanket like over you Definitely on like your hammock. And I was like, um, I like, what? I like oh, grab like your water skin and I like, put it like in your like arm so that you don't have to like reach for it at all and then I wander my way back upstairs. I'll, I'll come get you in an hour. I hope you feel powerful, just, motherfucker. Just it's the one time! <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> Let him have this! Yeah, that's um. I sat the only other time I ever felt powerful, you counterspelled me, you dick. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's fair. I do think I sat in Thank silence for 10 doll. minutes after they polymorphed the, the dragon turtle. I know. The only words out of my mouth mm. before I was out was just, man, fuck you. I know. And then I was just crying. I was excited because I'm like, ship, ship combat. That was fun. Yay. And then 18 seconds later. <laughs> that was, that, hey, hey, that was the best 18 seconds of my life. It was a very exciting the 18 seconds. <laughs> I had three jokes that popped in my head, and I'm like, I cannot say any of them. <laughs> the looks at all three. I know, I know. That's what I was meant for. <laughs> it was just the. What? <laughs> <laughs> you have to try to get your faces like. Is it no, Jim? Anyways, Mirage, you are laid down to rest um, while um, your wounds are tended to. Um, the rest of you kind of help out with patching the ship back up with the damage that it did take. Um, did it learn its lesson The now? island of Escosi gets closer and closer. 
Where's Ambrose at right now? It didn't learn its lesson. He'd probably be downstairs it watching a barrage. I'm gonna go pop down there. Okay. Are you, are you a seep? I think I, I just. I, I put her a little nap time, or I brought her down to her. I guess hammock. I'm, I'm yeah. technically conscious, but I am just. Uh, okay. Just, you're just so, resting. Yeah. I'm, I'm having you take a short rest. <laughs> <laughs> just in case um, you want to roll your hit die yeah. to get back your hit. Is, so Ambrose is just like watching over. Yeah, you just, just kind of like. Okay, then I will like oh, shuffle right. over to where hit, he's at. Thank you. Um, and then so like, like hold Orin's hand. It's <laughs> just quietly, yeah. but not like whispery <laughs> type <laughs> shit. Mm-hmm. You're very um, dazed. You're like, and I'm like, go, go to, go, go to, um, go to, go to, go to, stay with me. Oh, there is fucking, hold on. Okay, I'll, I'll stay down here. I need to make sure I'm not talking out of my ass. Hold on. Apparently, ass talk. I'm go. staying down I'm real good at that. Okay. Off. Can you? Um, <laughs> Lovely. Can you shut up? You're my, you're my knight in rotting armor. <laughs> rotting armor. Uh, well, I guess uh, I... Should I... I oh, no, I found it. Okay. Okay. Um, then I will... So I'll kind of shuffle up and, again, quietly, but not whispery, secret type, just... Uh... Any updates from our spooky spectral friend? You, you doing okay with all that? I haven't heard anything yet. Okay. So, yeah. Do you, do you think that means we're doing good? Or is he like pissy because we've now gotten farther away from where he's wanting you to go? I think we're fine for right now. He hasn't said anything. I haven't really felt his present all that much. I feel like he's waiting for something more concrete. A sign, a vision, a feeling, something more than just a guess. Yeah. I mean, have we gotten any hotter recently, do you know? See? Do you want to ask him? (coughs) Yes. Um. I thought this part dealt with. That's why Because in Macau's brain, he's like, I don't like this thing that's in my friend. I don't like this guy. But then the other other part of your brain is like, like, (laughs) Um. I mean, I I could. I just don't want, I don't want to like make you uncomfortable or like use you as a communication tool, you know? They're not just like a communication tool. You're not the you're not a, like a messenger or like a middleman, you know. Like, don't look at me like that. Being used as a tool is something I'm used to. I think I can do it one more time. Well, I don't like the thought of using you as a tool, so. Well, at least this time I'm willing. Okay. Sure. I'll talk to Spooky Spectral Fuck. If he feels like saying hi. All right. Oh. Dude, I just had like a, not like deja vu, but I almost just had an inherent, deeply seated reaction to, Oh, I'm about to talk to like an important, I need to write down my question. <laughs> and I was like, no. <clears throat> so Ambrose kind of like, he stands still for a moment. He kind of like shakes his hand a little bit, closes his eyes, his head tilts down a little bit. You can see his eyes behind his eyelids like move and shift around um, before like starting at his hands, this, darkness just kind of like envelops his skin and he begins to (laughs) 
What do you want? Speak. Hello to you too. I'm not here for pleasantries. Okay. That's disappointing. Considering that we're like trying to What help you. do you want? Considering that we're trying to help you. Um, and that's the whole reason I wanted to talk to you actually. So thanks for starting us off on good foot today. Um, oh. You just keep talking. I'm scared of you. <laughs> I'm scared of you. Um, just wanted to, I don't know, check in. Um, because I know that you talked to Ambrose recently about the goal you're hoping to achieve and the thing we're helping you with. Um, I just wanted to hear it myself and also ask if anything has changed since the last time you guys talked. I would like to get this dealt with swiftly. I have a feeling mm -hmm. that he is close. Something is near. Which one? There were two guys, right? Yes. I feel the presence of Levi okay. near. I cannot locate him, though. Okay. But it is calling to me. <sighs> Has that uh, feeling gotten any stronger since we left the mainland? Directionally, are we onto something here? It's gotten closer. Okay. But I cannot blindly search. That's understandable. I will stay, and so will your friend, for now. Okay. Good. I'm glad that we can agree on that. Somehow, somehow, you, the people your friend follows, it seems you are on a path, and it's getting closer to what I want. That. What a goinky dink, huh? You have no idea. Okay. Um. <laughs> I just connected the dots of that! Okay. I'm normal. Okay. Are you? <laughs> there. <laughs> um. You should have written down your questions. <clears throat> Focus! So I know that you said that um, you're like a higher being of some sort, right? Yes. Could you like elaborate on that further? Because like, there are some higher beings that are good. It was a door. <laughs> Don't worry about that. There's people on the ship. Uh, <laughs> they're moving crazy. <laughs> Creepy. <On something>. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there are like. Beings that are hey. higher than myself, um, that are beneficial and uh, nice and usually benevolent and whatnot. Dara's uh, got a couple of those on speed dial, um, but then there's some that I'm less than favorable of, and most people are also they're not super inclined to have dealings with them. Um, so are you like are you like chill or are you like kind of stinky or uh, like what what uh, what are you stinky. what's your what's your gig exactly because if i'm being completely honest you're making me a little bit nervous what with the ma potentially making ambrose leave and stuff like that and doing all that other bullshit that i'm not really a fan of 
I am but a part of an ancient garden. One who's corrected the history time and time again. Who set a course for an entire world. Who has single-handedly saved the world from annihilation. Ancient god, you said? You heard correctly. Okay, I was, I was just checking. The movement of the ship and the creaking, it's a bit, you know. Um, okay, so then, good? Good guy. You're a good guy. From the sounds of it. So, so I don't understand why all the malicious vibes just radiating off of you. Because the cycle must continue. Okay, yes, I understand that. We get it. The cycle and all that shit. You gotta get back in the shit and do the stuff and I get that. If the cycle cannot continue, our world is doomed forever. If I die, so too does an entire existence of people. An entire world doomed. Okay, yes. We're working on that. It is great that by some coincidence we have managed to... Our paths have kind of crossed and seem to be going in the same direction for right now, which is great. That's awesome. That's very beneficial for us, makes things a lot easier, so that we don't have to make you wait and then we don't have to wait. That's awesome. With the state of things as they are, if we put all of our stuff to the side to focus simply on your shit, which, by the way, you haven't died yet, you've got my friend. Um, if we just, If we put all of our shit aside to simply focus on your issues, right? We could maybe not be around anymore to help solve your problem. So maybe you could be a little bit nicer and a little bit more gracious of the fact that I'm letting you sit inside of my friend. You hear bones start to snap as Ambrose grows taller like a shadow that begins to loom over you. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just Sick. hear <laughs> As it begins to like grow, it's uh, nail, it, Ambrose's nails become claws and it just like looms over you with this like booming voice. You don't want me against you. I am allowing your friend to live. You have no power. Don't make me remind you again. Forgive me. Bone starts to snap as Ambrose yeah, goes to normal. There we go. Okay, well. What a productive conversation. I understand that your shit's really important, but maybe if you were just a bit nicer, we wouldn't have these talks, you know? You have no idea how long I was in there. How long I've been torn away from being a whole person. I am a fragment. You are all. You have no idea what it's like. Okay. okay. So, do you, do you know what's up with the, I, I know that you were, we, we found you down in that yucky ruin place, right? That's, that's what the thing was that you were in? Yes. Okay. Did you just like end up there immediately? Or like... That, like, because the Ashen Lord was a thing that was like using you? I still don't know how this works. After being transported to this world, mm -hmm. I was ripped away from my godly body and trapped in a fragment of another reality, doomed 
to be awake for an eternity until you found me. The Ashen Lord seeped power from the reality in which I was trapped in. What even does that, though? What, like, did you piss somebody off with your aura? And then they went, hmm, not the... I do not know what you speak of. Like, the, the, you were like this, okay? Or you were like this. And then you said that you were like this. What caused this? The rift. Okay. So like you, you popped and then you went... After? Have I not already explained this to you? Not really, no. Not You've spoken riddles the whole time. I've told you after transporting through the rift, I was torn asunder. Okay, well, what more information do you need? I don't know, like by somebody or it just happened? If I knew, I would tell you. All I know is it's the rift. That's all I was asking. I'm sorry if I wasn't super clear about that. Primitives. <laughs> okay. Well, we're almost to <laughs> we're almost to Skull Island. Um, so if you want to go back to Quiet Town, that's fine by me. Um, I would actually prefer to have Ambrose back at this point, um, but we're not ignoring your problem, okay? There's a lot of puzzle pieces that frankly have us in way over our heads, so we're trying to figure it out. You were a puzzle piece that got added in, and we don't know where the fuck you're supposed to go yet. So we're figuring it out. Just maybe like try not to hate us. And also, don't hurt the emperors, maybe. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. I'm using my manners. That's not very primitive. You are so naive. Great I consider myself lucky. Lucky because... Because somehow I am still alive. Mm -hmm. Lucky that somehow you were able to find me. Mm -hmm. But I hope to never speak to you again. Bummer, but okay. The other one might be kinder. The other one might not have suffered as much as I have. I only have one goal in mind, one task, and it relies purely on your sad abilities. Yeah, the sad abilities have allowed us to come in and save you from the, the deep down, dark deep down. Yeah. I grow tired of this. Um, go the fuck to sleep then. Good night. <clears throat> he changes back to Ambrose. Nice. Hmm. He's a dick! Oh, sorry. He's a dick. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Mm -hmm. He's fucking sleeping. <clears throat> Oh, so did I just witness like that entire thing? Were you down there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There it is! <laughs> you, uh, you good? That was unpleasant. Yeah. The same <laughs> for me as well. Similar experiences. Well, no, but you, I, it, okay. Sorry. Sorry. You have a natural talent of pissing people off. I hope you know that. It's my uh, raging charm. Right. Irresistible. 
I'm very glad you're not like Eve and you cannot speak to gods. I, w- I can. I don't do like one at least. Like I said, I'm just glad you're not like Eve or Dara. Well, I'm sure if I like, cared enough to like sit and pray, like I could figure it out. That's the... Never mind. Okay. <laughs> There's nobody for a good conversation today. Is that what's going on? I mean, I'm just here. What do you What do you want to talk about? No, not I'm just, I'm just... What com- What deep? Co- you want to talk about the universe? Yeah. You want to talk about what's What's going on in that big heart of yours? Let's talk about the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk Mirage. about the universe oh, then, just, Mirage. Just, no, would you like to start us off? She needs she's to... resting. Yeah. She's resting. Yeah. She feels like she can talk. She's a grown woman who's had a child, okay? Oh, God. She's seen worse. <laughs> yeah, right, Robert, like Robert was rough, okay. You, do you have, <sighs> you've got updates, right? I do, yes. Oh, the, the universe, Ambrose, look at that. Wow, stuff that I, I'm gonna be able to follow this. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Really? Watch, I'm not gonna ask any questions. Unless they're clarifying questions for more detail. I'm not gonna ask what anything is, I'm not going to ask who anyone is, because I know so much and I am a wise and educated young man. What school did you go what school did you go to? <laughs> Dara, are you down here with us? No. No. Oh. Should I go get Dara? Uh, yes. I was, I've been waiting for a chance to say something. No. Oh. Well we're having shirt. a conversation about the universe if you'd like to join. I am upstairs. We're having a conversation! <laughs> Dara! I'm going to do something with a short rest. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Because if I short rest, I gain my uh, whatever the fuck it's called back. Oh. Mm. Yeah. And then I can also play with Gawain during a short rest. There you go. Very good. Okay. I'm very <laughs> occupied. Fuck all of you. Okay. Burn. Right? I probably should roll. I probably should roll. Oh, I did roll in the game. Oh, yeah. I thought you did. <laughs> Remind me, how many hit die can I roll uh, below? 21. I don't know. <laughs> as many as you have if you so desire. Yeah, as many as you have. Okay. If you only regain half oh. every long rest. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you. Half of the hit dice at you is. So, yeah. So three, so. <laughs> yeah, half minimum one. <laughs> what school did you go to? <laughs> <laughs> Says the you wizened individual. So yes, I'm very interested. Okay. <laughs> Don't. So you can only say you've been right? educated if you've been educated. Hey, Sick. there are oh. other places that you okay, can learn back. that are not school. The streets. Wait, use three. Yeah. Did you no, grow no, up in, that, you're level six. In, the, in the ice? Yeah. Yeah. You were like a caveman. In the ice. Rest. Who's the so, educated man? Uh, do, do, do you want to? Do you want to fucking survive out there, Nicky? So when you finish your next one, you'll get all three back. I never okay, said cool. that. Nice, you. you just Where said. Did you get that? Yeah. From? <laughs> all right. And no, I don't. It sounds horrible. I have avoided it for so long. The closest I've ever been was what fucking Tredorn, and that was awful. I don't like the cold. Well, I went to the school. I I did. Yeah, we went to school and so smart. I'm smarter than everybody in the uh, school. And also, I have a I know how to do magic and I'm so eloquent, so I but I don't know how to survive. <laughs> sorry, I had to take my cow's head on this one. I'm sorry, Ambrose. When do you not? Most of the time. The, mo- most, huh? of the, most of you the time. Most of the time. out of me, frequently. I, I, that's, I feel like that's a love language at this point. Do you not know what that is? Do no. I have to explain? <laughs> and saying you two are lovebirds. This is true. I am. Um... Oh. So, they're very cute together. And I think combined it makes two whole brain cells. Oh my. Which is double oh, what they have oh. now. Okay, we don't have to go that far. We can just stop at lovers. And... Oh, okay. Well. I, 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 that's... Well, let's give them a break. From what? I don't know. Us. <laughs> us! I barely I speak. Know. No. And when I do, I'm insulted no. by this one. I mean, I no. want to at least be like, I mean, he can get back. Please. No. Well, he is the bronze of the operation. Yeah. No. Yeah. My knight in rotting armor. Ew. That was... <laughs> 
Yes. I, I, I didn't mean I didn't mean that. I, I have a, adults have character. I'm sorry. True. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. um, you the voice. <coughs> Rosie. Yes. Um. Sorry. <laughs> okay. No time like the present. Oh. I've communed with the blooming gods. I learned about this bullet. Okay. This is a bullet made by a genius artificer by the name of Thatch Alakin. Okay. It's infused with necro- it's <laughs> it's infused with necrotic magic. Okay. Which negates life energy. Yeah. And apparently those struck by it uh, have their magic blocked off. Which is why Dara's magic did not work. Oh, so it stopped the healing stuff from actually doing anything because of the necrotic enchantment on it? Precisely. Okay. Lewis apparently had assistance from one type of necromancer. Mm-hmm. And we're already on his tail. Yeah, because sin's all necromantic and shit, right? But Sin's not an artifice. Well, somebody else could have made the the bullet itself, and then she could, could have done. Yeah, something. I don't believe it's necrophant. I don't believe this necromancer is Sin it's herself. Necrophant. Could but it, it be, does lead to something. It's like I would believe that it would be another person on that ship, Maybe? correct? If not Sin, then yeah. That feels so. But I also do because feel like it could possibly be a ticket to bringing down Sin. Because what yeah. I am. What I'm believing is that Sin happened to come upon this crew, put them all under like a hive mind essentially, and the artificer and the necromancer were already a part of said crew. Maybe. She may have control over the ones who have the bullets, so. <laughs> Which! Maybe, if she does, that's really bad spot. because mm-hmm. three out of the five of us cannot afford to get shot. Right. If you get that, shot, the right we place. cannot. Well, if you get shot with those bullets, you lose all of your fucking magic. So we need to fuck up whoever's got the gun thing. Which means that yeah. you and I have to go. Fuck it up real good. Well, but also, also here's the, the issue, though. If it if if we get shot with it, it would probably still s- kill us outright yep. or seriously harm us and prevent us from being healed at all. Because even though we don't have magic shit, it's it's possible that because of the necrotic stuff that it says, oh, your life force, ah, and just doesn't let us exist anymore, maybe. Pretty much so. So we got to deal ah. with that sin uh, and the horrors of Viscosia. The, oh yeah, the big bitch. Yes. Uh. And I've learned that Viscosia was once one of these titans. Okay. And I've also learned of the husk world. The- <laughs> okay. Remember when I told you about me fo- following a light, trying to follow my son's light, and then I ended spooky up- Spooky place. Yes. The very spooky place. Okay. That was known as a husk world. Okay. Apparently, you know, until me, this centipede titan creature was the only thing to have Gross. made it out of one of those. Okay. This husk world's being completely abandoned, rotted planets, <laughs> seemingly. Like in our in our place or elsewhere? I'm not entirely sure. Cause there's to, just To me it feels like like a dead biosphere. Like just out discarded. Cause we're like I don't remember exactly what you said, but you said that there's like more There are three more that. biospheres. In where we are. Yes. So then probably of ours, from out there? Somewhere beyond, yeah. I was brought to what is essentially the edge of space, and beyond that was okay. a void, which I could not see beyond. Are the host world like 
the biosphere in the sense that that big red fuck made them and then abandoned them? Or is that something completely, so completely different, that they were just there? I guess it's as good as mine. But all I know is that apparently this thing made it to our world, but it could not survive in it. It died, but the parasites remain. Um, okay, 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 other sides? These strange quadrupedic, quadrupedal, quadrupedal. Four leggy boys! Four leggy boys. Oh, we froggy with four <laughs> legs! <laughs> it's got a wee poopy! It grows in blood for it. <laughs> These quadruped creatures. Mm. <laughs> And overwhelming numbers. Okay. And they're like parasites, but just big because it's ghostly big. <sighs> Seems like it. Yes. Okay. So technically, to Titan guy, just little parasite, but like to us normal sized people, we're like that's a normal sized guy. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Right on it. Cool. Well. So we're in for quite some danger. Yeah. But. Yeah. We've got it. You know. Yeah, we just have to. Uh, we're okay. Just gotta figure out how to take out sin and. Yeah. Unconventional means. Yeah. Sin and gunmen must go. Yippee! And break! Yeah. Plan solidified. Yeah, well... Pre-plan. I, I don't know if we have... I think we just have awareness of the situation. We don't really have a plan. I think we just talked about how fucked we are. Yeah, well, okay. No, mm, Pre-plan, because we know gun guy needs to get fucked. Sin, fucked up. Mm -hmm. So we know that we got to take care of that. Yeah. Probably gun guy first, then sin. I feel like that's the move. Seems like that would be the more rational thing. Yeah, because if gun guy gone, we don't have to worry about being shot. And then we can fight soon without worrying about being shot. Yeah, we could always... a good plan. I'm glad I've been here for this war. Oh my... Hello, hello. Uh, good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's up? Good morning. Hello. Uh, you know, I was actually going to... Wonder. I mean, first, how are you? How how'd you sleep? Ah, uh, wonderfully. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm Next question. Sleep through all the uh, the crashing waves and whatnot. I always sleep through the waves. Uh, it puts me to sleep like I was back in my old rocking chair. Um, <laughs> yeah. I was wondering if uh -huh. you could be uh, a gentleman for me, real quick, and. Ah. Tell me how you know about uh, the seal on my magic. Ah, the seal. Yes, but I'm very old, and in my time I have seen quite a few things. One of them is the seals that these gods place upon people. Um, usually, who have done misdeeds against the biosphere, something that they might consider somewhat cataclysmic or might have ruined a large part of the biosphere. Possibly they might be afraid of them. Uh, Here we go. It's very, that one? very potent here. I know you have one. But I sense more when the gods live. You, you sense more of the magic has been placed on another seal. No. Or perhaps you have more than one. Have you checked? <coughs> more than one seal? Mm. Didn't, um, didn't Dion place just the one? That's all I'm aware of. Can you, can you, like, radar it out? 
And yeah. see? Yeah, what a sense. Double seal, bitch! Please. No. God! Please. I don't understand the please. I tried. I, ugh, could you... Or how awake are you right now? Quiet. Mm, that's a bummer. How awake were you when we first talked to you when we got on the ship? Quiet. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> double bummer, bitch. Double bummer for the double seal. Mmm, double bummer for the double seal. Yeah. Well, if you only have one, um, then I suppose you only have one. Maybe I'm growing old. <laughs> who are, well, who outside of... I, who outside of Lord Dion? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Oh. What happened? I. <laughs> Why did you explode? Look <laughs> 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 Ugh. Anyways. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. All right, what's your question, young lady? Um, <laughs> Jesus. So sorry. So sorry. <laughs> I don't know why it got me so bad, but it really sent me so well. Because I think it was that you started talking, <laughs> and then you were still going. I was like, what the fuck? Okay, who was I? Yeah, Dion put this one on me. Mm. If there's a second seal, do you think Dion put a second one on me? Or, or is it someone if else? If not, no. who else could have put one on me? Well, I've only ever seen one seal on a person before. I've only ever heard of it. I've read many books in my time, too. But different gods can place different seals, and if you have one of Dion, then maybe someone else here does. But I've only sensed this as of recently, so it must be one of you. Like another one from Dion? Or just a god? Or another god. Have any one of you done something cataclysmic or terrible to the bios realm? You have if you have the seal. What did you do, young miss? Um. What dastardly event could you have placed upon this biosphere that could have uh, watered such uh, grievances against the gods? Um. I sacrificed my son. Hmm. In the hopes that it would prevent damnation. I see, and that caused the seal to be placed upon. And by Dion, no less interesting. He merely issued an order, and I chose not to think of a plan C. But he put that seal on you because he was scared of you, right? Scared? Yeah. Why would the god of love be scared of such a uh, 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 young, beautiful lady? Mm. You're kind of a bad bitch, I think that's why. <laughs> yes, I don't know what that means. <laughs> to be fair, no. Bad, bad ass. Wow. Throw it in a circle. Yeah. <laughs> shit, bad shit. Like, bring, shit. Bring that shit over here. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, to, to Dion's credit, knowing how I was and how hateful I felt in that moment, I would have placed a seal on myself as well. I see, well, um... You very well could have saved this biosphere by doing that. Hmm. Well, that's terrifying. <laughs> it certainly is. Are you saying you are a very powerful individual that has the uh, capability of throwing the world into damnation? That is a scary thought. 
I mean, come on, she's a woman, of course she's crazy powerful. That's how women were. Oh. Okay, I, just, I was trying to fart. You were being cute, I read. I was trying to, oh, thank you. That's not how I would describe that one. <laughs> but perhaps my eyes are not what they used to be. <laughs> I guess I was pretty powerful before this saved me off, but... In a way, I'm kind of figuring out how to become more powerful despite it all. Well, you'll get there eventually. You seem pretty powerful as it is. I can feel the uh, the arcane around you. It's uh, potent. It's very powerful. You'll get there eventually. <laughs> Cl- uh, clarification <laughs> question, really quick. Hmm? So you, you said, uh, the ca- cataclysmic damage to the biosphere, right? That's like did I? Stuff. Like why, like a seal would be placed on? Oh, a what, what was the a reasoning seal for that? would only be placed upon a mortal if a god was. Uh, well, uh, scared of them for one or two. If that person has caused a great imbalance to the biosphere. What, what do you mean by, like, imbalance? Well, like a cataclysmic event of some sort, or something that has brought great ruin to a place. Okay. And if you say your son was going to bring the world into damnation and you sacrificed him, well, there's a chain of events there that would cause you to have a seal, especially by Dion, because that is a major no-no. Your own son, <laughs> To our knowledge, um, Hmm? uh, I'm just, I'm thinking, has Dara done anything cataclysmic to the balance of the biosphere? Not of my knowledge, no. Uh, It It seemed like the last person to do such a thing. Yeah, this Hmm. seems like a super chill guy. Um, because not him. Yeah. If it's, if it's not a double whammy, there are only two options. Is it the penis? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was what, what would you say the fallout was, Negus, if you don't mind me asking if you're comfortable talking about that? Two hundred of my comrades dying and the rest of them um, abandoning me okay. and leaving into Schuller as I got hit with arrows because I had charged the Duke trying to behead him. Wow, that is, um, that's something. Uh, I, I blew up a, a pretty big chunk of an emesis. With what? Magic shit. Like a fireball? I can do that. No, it's no. No, like no. it was like a like an arcane e- explosion that uh, created a massive uh, scar. That's what it's called. Through a nemesis. Um, <laughs> there was a rift storm and all that, but also... Yeah, hey, it almost sounded like you're the one who caused the scar and ditch. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, great heavens. Oh, good heavens. I was it young was. and stupid. Young and stupid. You see, like, his eyebrows have raised and you can actually, like, see his eyes. He's, like, staring at you, just... So, uh, I'm guessing he's the... So, or what is the one? <laughs> I'm gonna go find something to eat. <sighs> Should we, like, check? Which one's more likely? <laughs> no, no, please. Oh, the, oh, uh, the is there, like, a, is there like, a private room somewhere that you know of real quick? Yeah, we're on a boat, stupid. <laughs> 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 So there was a, 
Because you have like a physical manifestation of that, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, go right here. Big ass flower. Is that normal? Or is each one look different? Big. As far as I Does know, each one look they different are. if, like, a different like, oh. god? Like, different do they have gods. their own, like, kind of flair? Can you ask I, Dion? Yeah. Can you? I've like, only been aware of Dion doing this. Would you, would you be able to ask him a question on the behalf of both of us? Yeah, I could also go ask I've Dara. Been I miss him again. Catch up with him. I actually I haven't spoken like with him. I actually haven't spoken with him since we were at Sky Exodus. Okay, hold on a second. I'm gonna go over to the stairs. I'm gonna like pop up. <sighs> is it like a little right. door, like latch thing? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pop up and find where Dara's at. I'm just gonna look around. I'm actually like throwing a stick for a fucking bird. <laughs> <laughs> Dara! <laughs> what? Got it. <laughs> <laughs> good boy, go in. You doing good? Yeah. Stick. Okay, cool. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <Dan. laughs> Okay, I just wanted to check. Smooches love you. And I put the thing back down. Do, do, we have, do we want to check? What? <laughs> Could you make a call? <laughs> Could you make a yeah. call while we check? Yeah. Can um... you also, like, go to, like, a corner? <laughs> right now? <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to cement our joke from earlier. We're going to strip in front of each other. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? <laughs> Would you rather have a plus two? I would rather wait until we're not on a ship to Death Island, okay? Corpse <laughs> Island. I don't want to deal with stripping in front of you on the way to Skeleton Island. Can I push this now before? Yeah, um, yeah, sure thing. What if it's on your back? It's, uh... What if it's on your back? Oh, boy, is it? Spoken with him since Sky Xanus. Um, you know, hold on. Haven't we all kind of seen each other in some sort of state of disrobe? Well, yeah, but that was like down to the skivvies, you know? You're <laughs> saying you have a mark on your ass? Hey, <laughs> I could. You would be the only one that would even have accidentally seen my ass. So. Accidentally? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're forgetting our history together. Oh! (laughs) Not our, but you know. Yep. You want to ask? No, it's fine. We'll get to that later. Yeah, that's what I thought. He doesn't. He just has a weird birthmark. (laughs) What? Okay. Um. No, I can't look at my oh, Okay, um... Uh, it's a mirror. I guess one of those, you know, check out for mole asses, I'm just gonna face the corner and then perform my ritual. I'm just... Oh. Cool. You pull, uh, out, your, you pull out your... It's a cutie mark. Don't you pull out your god flip phone dial 9. <laughs> Dion's Pizza, how can I help you? <laughs> Dion's <laughs> Pizza, I am... Hey, roll come over. on down. Roll a religion check. Dion's you got this, bro. You got uh, this. this. Dion's Diner, welcome down to Goody. Come on down to Dion's Domino's Pizza. Dion's, 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 Dion's Diner, where good Dion's eating is good. Dion's Dion's good. Macau is very subtle. Where you like, make do love to the pizza. Shh, don't speak again. <laughs> don't ever speak. Yeah. You are you are silenced. <laughs> Twenty one. Yo, Dion is here. You don't build a barn, dumbass. <laughs> I broke the goddamn wheel. <laughs> Are we having fun with oh, your yeah, stick time? Build a barn, dumbass. How many times does Gawain <clears throat> drop the stick on your head? At least twice. I'm still thinking about okay. the fact that you did turn on dead and they all just went <laughs> like, oh shit, oh shit. So, contacting Dion, what do you do? Oh, just like the process of it? Mm-hmm. I think I just, uh, laying with, like, arms, or, like, legs crossed, posture straight, inhale, as I, like, draw, like, a half circle around my heart, 
and then exhale, and then complete the circle. Cool. Um, with that, um, you would connect to Dion and kind of feel a warm embrace around you. And as you open your eyes, you see Dion pulling back from that embrace, kind of like matching your eyes. Hello, Eve. <laughs> Dion, it's... It's been a while. It has. I'm glad to see you again. You as well. So, to what, um, what is the occasion? <laughs> well, well, I would certainly love to have an opportunity to catch up with everything. I'm not sure if you've been tuning in. Ah, uh, well, only so much here and there. But, um, let's find a time to talk, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Be lovely. Yeah. You can have some wine, maybe the finest cheeses we could find, some nice bread, some, oh, warm bread sounds lovely right now. And you would not believe the crazy promotion. Crazy promotion? Blooming God. Champion status. Ah, well, congratulations. <laughs> You've outgrown little on me, have you? <laughs> well. Wow. Ah, oh, I'm not completely hurt. hurt. I'm hurt. I guess there were a couple of things I wanted to get to. First thing being business. Well, um, all right, as per usual. So, I spoke with an interesting character a few minutes ago, and <laughs> a few minutes ago. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm glad I am very early to the party, <laughs> and. Yes, well, it's, uh, you know, while it's nothing due to be noticed for my, for my mark. Yes, I see that you are slowly whittling away at it. I feel like I'm coming back into myself, but good. In a sense, I have a feeling I've come back stronger than I was before. <laughs> it's a different brighter path than it was before. But I'm getting sidetracked. Um, <laughs> of course, I apologize. <laughs> um, I mean, this could just be you know, talk of an of a loony gentleman, but he said that there might be a second a second seal based on me. Oh, good gods, no. Are there any other are there any other gods that you know who are capable of various curse marks? No, why, yes, all of them. Oh. Oh. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. And is it safe to assume that each god provides a different looking mark? Oh, that? yes, of course. Now, each god have different, like, specifications, if you will, on, um... Uh, how to obtain said mark for one your um well you know and then I had to uh, well you know yeah see of course so different gods again different things you have to do to earn one even though it's not really earning one but you know so yes yeah. all of them can yeah. a badge of dishonor Mm, yes, of course. Unfortunately, all God has to give out most of them, because some people commit atrocious crimes. <laughs> yeah. Well, are you able to... Are you able to sense yeah. the other seals, like... Of the other gods? Yeah. No. Of mine? Yes. So... There's a chance that there's another seal on me, but by someone else. <laughs> My dear, there can only be one seal on a mortal at a time. One cursed mark. I have placed one on you for your misdeeds, and you are working through them. <laughs> yes, it did seal away your power. 
But I assure you, no other god has placed a curse mark on you. Okay. Well, that's a relief. If there was anyone on this biosphere that had more than one curse mark, that would be something. I don't even know if they can exist and function. I've never seen it happen before. <sighs> I was gonna say if there was, I'm kicking its ass. Go cool, good for you. <laughs> well, I guess before I leave, you know, there's there was the business side of things. And now I'm just uh, sort of something personal I want to get off my chest. Of course! Head. What would you like to get off your chest? Mm -hmm. Certainly not that accursed mark. <laughs> I, got I, that, I got that covered. I'm assuming that you probably wouldn't... I'm assuming that the process is going to be much more complicated than you lifting it. But I'm not here for that. I'm doing well enough breaking through on my own. Hmm. What I wanted to get at is, <clears throat> I'm. I understand why you did it. I understand why you sealed me. I'm. I understand. But at I'm... the end of it all, you're protecting the biosphere, and in a way, you were protecting me for myself. I'm glad you see it that way now. And, you know, as someone serving the god of love and advocating for this world, I hated you. I know. That's all right. I hated my purpose. But in the end, I realized that you're more like us mortals than I give you credit for. I am. You're scared. I like was. All of, us are. of course. All of us are always scared. We work so hard to keep this biosphere functioning. And if we don't do our job, if we mess up, who knows what happens? <laughs> the architect could cease to exist, be lost out there in the unknown. We are here for a purpose. We must continue. So yes, that vision, your existence, it scared me to my core. I did what I knew was right, and I know it affected you, but look at you now. You're no longer a cog, you're the entire machine. The heart that keeps on beating. So, in a way, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, just. No, I don't hate you. I pity you. But I still love you. And I've done my job. <laughs> well, even though I'm not your champion anymore. You will always be my champion. Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. Um, well, then you get front row seats while we finish this thing. I'll gladly watch that. <laughs> All right, well. Till next time. I, uh, I look forward to drinks up in the heavens with you. Until next time, <laughs> Eve. I was like, I spill away. I want to be like, <laughs> the architect's name is Vasilis, by the way. What? <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Alex says, watch me lore drop a god. <laughs> <laughs> like, you you did what people do at therapy all the time. As doorknob like, confessional. Yeah. You did a doorknob confessional. That's a thing. That's what, yeah, yeah. doorknob confessionals when you're at a therapy session. You're like, oh, yeah, so by the way, uh, there's this really crazy thing that I totally forgot to tell you about. Blah, blah, and then they're like, we're talking about that next time. Don't do that to yeah. me again. They're like, oh, okay, bye. <laughs> Jesus. Doorknob <laughs> confessionals are a huge thing. I am guilty of those. I'd be like, Hi. by the way, we're not talking about this next week. <laughs> God's balls. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> I have them. I have them. Yep. All right. Okay. And talking about oh, God's God. balls down there. Fine, we're both just. So what are you? Yeah. What are you guys doing? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I've been. I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty hacked up and like yeah. tatted on my like, coat of paint. I'll tell you again. The, you don't have a mark on you. It, <laughs> 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 what the fuck? That was some VHS glitch. <laughs> it could have been after all of that. So that's the only reason why. I'm... So more recent. What did you do? Could it, could it be me? I mean, I'm okay. Did you do? No, that was. That was before you met me. Mm mm. No? After. Oh. Met, go kablooey, run away, and I'll see you again. Well, I can change really quick and we can give you a quick once over. What? Whoa! What? <laughs> Are you asking me to repeat myself because you didn't understand or because you misheard? Yep. No. <laughs> Why are you so shy now? <laughs> this is highly unlikely. They're highly unlike you. Okay. Um, Very unlike Let's you. just wait until Mirage comes back and then we can decide what we're doing. Mirage! <laughs> Will I come back from my trance? Sure. Oh, okay. Will I return from my trance? <laughs> Mirage. Am I untranced? Mirage. Yep. Macau yep. wants you to look at him naked. No, that. What? Um, his that, words, that, not no, mine. No, that's not. That's not what. That's not. What that's he not said. what he said. He just hates me. How did God oh, time go? Did you Better figure? Than I did you figure okay. anything out? Yeah. Um, Double sealed or? Uh, no, just one seal. Okay. Only one seal at a time. But apparently other gods can place their own version of seals. Okay. On those. So I think uh, Untha is just uh, well intended. Wrong. Yes. Okay. Like sensed one or there two, was, but no, then could A second. It, but could it pinpoint where it belonged to? Okay. Maybe Dara has done something terrible. We don't know about it. Maybe. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Dara, of course. I've never um, gone home because it's gone. <laughs> he did steal that surfboard. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, he that did child that has been, is going to have neck problems forever. up for sure. <laughs> um, you should also practice medicine, which is witchcraft. Yeah. So you're, that is you're, true. Not, you're hellbound. Yeah, you're hellbound. I did not practice <laughs> medicine until I was with you. You've only recently <laughs> become fine. sealed. <laughs> this is uh, a recent development. Uh, okay. Because before then, I was a leather worker. That yeah. was it. Oh, yeah, yeah, do, yeah, yeah. Do they all have physical manifestations? Um, yeah. I don't know exactly what they all look like. Okay. But all would of you, Dion's... Would you be able to help, like, pinpoint? <sighs> but all of Dion's look like this. Uh, poke it. Oh, they all look the same. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Your finger falls off. <laughs> <laughs> Sticks over the pedal. <laughs> oh. I don't know if Wait. I can really sense out other people like a radar, but for those would who do, do know, no. would you? Uh, <laughs> okay. Because right, like uh, friend, because right now it's right. honestly, honestly between yeah. The um, two of us. Is there a so so busy? Why is the for you? <laughs> for me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like brothers. I can't. 
can't just ask him. Okay, ask yeah, but also it's not a huge thing. deal if he looks at your twig and berries, okay? <laughs> it's really not that monumental. You can explain that to him. I need to not go on trances and miss things. You... Do you want to be the one to ask him yourself? No! Oh, of course but not. But you're the one to propose the idea, so therefore oh, okay. you're the one willing um, to take the necessary steps so in order we, to go we know get... know at the very least it's not on your torso. Maybe, or mine. We've been shirtless before. We, we have. You notice anything strange, any of you? Yeah, any, any of you notice when you went to not shirtless? At the beach, no, I didn't notice anything. clothed you before. Off. Huh? No, and I've clothed you before. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Is there anything unusual? Yeah. I mean, I feel like there's a simple way to solve this. We're just really skirting around it, which is very weird. What's the simple way to solve it, Ambrose? What is going on up there? Never mind. No, Jamie's confused. Oh, you just went. Yeah. Oh! Honey! Okay. Oh. Oh. I'll go Do get, I need the... I'll go get there. Meow! Damn it, meow! What the fuck? Meow! Meow! No. Can you spare, like... Three to five minutes. Yeah, I got time. Yeah, I got time. So between Mikel and I, I think that one of us may have a sealed like mirage kind of going up. Would you be able to just come like downstairs? We're like, well, we'll explain the entire thing. Can you just please come downstairs? Yeah, I will. But you guys think you got fucking sealed? Yeah, no, just 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 come this there. Is just... So <laughs> this is so stupid. This is the dumbest shit I've heard all day. Yeah, I, I'll go downstairs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what aspect? <laughs> We're like, oh, we're sealed! <laughs> Can they get it? This changes everything. <laughs> Just Meanwhile, them. Unta, I'm so- <clears throat> we, Hey, we've got time. We're sailing. We do. And this is, you know, I'm not taking too long. Okay, cool. I Hello. I mistook a bug bath for what? a teddy bear. Good <sighs> for you, Unta. Um, that's a story. Oh, okay. Watch the fun time. <laughs> Unta uh, said that there might be another seal amongst us, like Eats. I once had a brother named Unta. <laughs> I just coming into a thing on. Yeah. Unta. Yes? Any idea on who? Seal. The seal. That's not the lady. Mm. What are we talking about? A seal on power from the gods. Oh, well, seals are native to uh, Diet, I believe. No, I've never been there myself. Do you know what Arcane kind of- seals like a, a, a damper on magic. Those don't exist, Cindy. Okay, Oh, just I go back to sleep, you senile old man. And you trusted this. Y- listen. He sussed it out real quick, so I'm just a little more. This newfangled <laughs> slang is really you... starting to. <sighs> what the fuck do you want me to do? Can you look at this twig and berries? <laughs> That's what you want me to look at? <laughs> Not that exclusively. <laughs> okay. <coughs> but like just. <coughs> Observe, make sure he's Observe not and make sure he's, he doesn't yeah. have a big flower on, like a tramp <coughs> stamp that's a flower. <laughs> You also well, there's probably other forms that those could come in, right? Well, yes, I'm just... I was making a joke. Mikel's oh. also going to get looked at by that one. All right. Sure. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> 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 I just realized what the fuck we were doing. Magic <laughs> physicals. <laughs> my, physicals. My spirit came back into Keith and I was like, what are we, what are we doing here? <laughs> Us five idiots have said I'm trash. <laughs> Let me look at your peanuts. <laughs> Reveal your dog! <laughs> Stat! You know, there's the really simple solution to be just wear the skibbies. And... That, I mean, that's what I was going to do for you. Okay, well, 
Can you just look at your own and say didn't this does you, not look like Didn't ours? you go down to your underwear when you went swimming? No, I had my pants on, I think. Oh, I think okay. I joked about taking off my pants, but yeah, I you wore joked about okay. That's what I wore, saw. He wore pants. Oh, okay. We both did. We were just shirtless. Yes, I noticed. I'm gonna take were. my leg off. That's so weird. <laughs> I'm gonna take my leg off real quick. I'm just gonna look. At that. I'm gonna un. What part of your leg are you taking off? The whole fucking thing. The whole okay. prosthetic, and then I want to unwrap the stump bit. Okay. And look at it. Yeah. So, um, when are you doing this? Like downstairs, upstairs? What are you doing? Downstairs. Right, yeah, I so. sit down so. so that I don't fucking fall. But my balance is kind of so. I don't just take it off. And take it you off. guys who are are downstairs, uh, Macau just <laughs> the leg and then starts to unbind his stump that is just wrapped with bandages. Um, mm-hmm. As you take off the bandages and look down. Um, you can already start to see as you are unwrapping some sort of mark. It looks like the tip of a flame. And as you keep unraveling it, more of a mark begins to appear. And that's where we're in the session. No! <laughs> and so, The Rift Seekers continue their seafaring journey towards the island of Esgosi. And a new mystery is being revealed. As Macau unbinds his wraps from his leg, a symbol emerges. A cursed mark. But what does it mean? And who or what put it there? I guess we'll find out in the next chapter. Well... That's all I have for you today. If you want more, why not consider joining our Discord? There you can talk to the players of the campaign and be a part of our lovely community. Thank you again for listening, dear friend. And goodbye for now.